Ladies and gentlemen, we are back to the category with zero viewers. Yesterday when I started, it was one. Um, popularity has not changed since this summer when I was initially streaming this. If anything, it's gone down. Um, I mean, it makes sense because it's an old game. Everyone's watching Baldur's Gate or whatever. But it makes it a perfect testing ground for me to um Make a fool of myself and then hopefully you know get better try try again as they say she was here ruth ruth bellamy was here hello i'm so sorry i haven't had the chance to get your name yet and update the terminal when you have a moment could you bring a mob to the lobby Dr. Blossom seems to have had a rather rough night and spilled some coffee on the floor. Thank you. What in blessed corporate law is all that commotion down there? I don't believe the rocket fuel combination distillery mixture was scheduled for another week. Could someone please inform me as to what the racket is all about? I better have a damn good reason for interrupting my meeting with the administrator. I expect a full explanation and apology within the next 15 minutes or people are going to start losing jobs. All right. Where's this coffee that was supposedly spilled? I don't see it. I'm supposed to talk to her. That's awful. I wonder if this poor fella had a family. Before Rizzo's was the confectionery juggernaut you know and love today, it was an above average chemical waste management corporation. <laughs> On one otherwise unremarkable day, an employee on the slurry stirring shift leaned a little too far over a chemical vat, dropping a single purple berry that had been hidden in his jacket pocket. Instead of being immediately fired for his hazardous incompetence, the employee was given an ultimatum by his supervisor. Retrieve the fallen fruit and stay employed. The employee jumped into the vat, swam for the purple berry, and accidentally swallowed it. The rest is history. After he was pulled from the toxic waters, the stirrer stated that the chemical-coated purple berry hadn't been half bad before falling into a toxic coma, giving his supervisor the idea to sterilize and adjust the chemical mixture for human consumption. Soon, the sour, sweet-coated purple berries were more or less edible, becoming Rizzo's first mass-marketed product. The Purple Berry Bunch. Classic, classic commercial success story. You know, it's, 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 it's never the thing that you're trying to do, right? How in the Aether did you get in here? You're not a Rizzo's authorized. Oh, void it all. What does it even matter now? What do you want? Speak up and quickly if you will. You do know that Halcyon Helen is a fictional character portrayed by the late actress, Ruth Bellamy, yes? One can't be too sure with so many simpletons around in the day-to-day. -to -day. 
Regardless, I am not at liberty to divulge such information with non-employees or personnel lacking security clearance level Spectrum Orange. Of course, if you were to say, I want to know what contract your the different levels of colors are. I suppose What's I the highest have ranking color? To answer your murder-related questions, Ms. Inspector. You see, I've found myself in a bit of a pickle. Some of my lab techs have turned rather aggressive following the recent experiment oh, gone awry. Maybe I should go up and up. Hence why I've barricaded myself in the lab. How about there? It's pretty good. I mean, we're about the same. I'm, I'm just slightly louder, which is not how most people balance, but it's how I balance for streaming, at least, because I don't regard myself as important. <laughs> Um, oh, is this where the happy people with the thing coming out of their neck? Is this where they came from? Oh no, they're quite unaware of their actions, I'm afraid. We're a research and development branch of Rizzo's. Focus primarily on the Spectrum Vodka line. But the specific research that goes on in this facility is utterly confidential. You understand. Call me a skeptic, but no, I don't believe it would be. Loose lips sink new product ships, you know? I wish it wasn't that way. I wish... Happily, of course. Like, especially with video games, I wish companies could be more open. The problem is the lead times, man. It's it's rough out there. It's rough out there. And so many projects get cancelled. And lose my life's work? You want me to just burn my lab and my entire future to the ground over one experiment that's gotten rather out of hand? No, I think not. We merely need to clean up the mess, so to speak. Reset the lab back to functional parameters. Even I think that's pretty cold, and I'm a mercenary. Staff can be replaced, you know. Research data? Now that's invaluable. I mean... People do keep breeding. And there's certain data that's only attainable by killing them. We usually get that, like... With with a few notable exceptions, we usually try to get that data, you know, on the side without intentionally inflicting those conditions. But just if somebody happens... Excellent. You have my gratitude, and soon you'll have my knowledge of Miss Bellamy's recent visit as well. Now, if you'd rather not kill my lab techs during this cleanup, I believe you can dispense a sedative gas from a terminal in the utility room. Your call, Captain. I don't know if the lab techs can even be helped at this point. The door to the lower labs is sealed for our safety, so you'll need to take the elevator down. I'll unseal the access hallway for you now. Do take care. Okay. No, I'm going to use this vending machine. Um. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to sell any weapons right now. I will sell all of these. Not sure why I keep picking this shit up. I'm never gonna use it. But I do. Keep all my mods to store in the ship. Sell the junk. Okay, let me look at weapons. 
Yes, this is a better version of that. I never used that, but there you go. Um, I do not appear to have a better machine gun. So I'll just keep like one bolter pistol. Not that one because it's a two point nine. Keep that one. Not that I'm ever going to use it. long time since I shot at anything. I mean, it's, it's literally been six months since I shot at anything with this. But in terms of gameplay time, it's been like a few hours. Hello everyone, this is your friendly custodial staff offering a preemptive apology if the elevator hall is crowded with gas canisters. There are quite a few of them, and only one of me, so I'm moving them in loads down to the utility room. Do be cautious, they're filled with a sedative potent enough to put a hungry mama raptodon out cold. Thank you for your understanding. Dear esteemed colleagues, my team and I are all heading to the Grand Colonial's bar this evening for some drinking and fellowship. All real scientists are welcome to join us. You know, the ones that produce quantifiable data and theorems and don't spend their time jabbering over how this lighting on that bottle will increase customer sentiment. Cheers from some who understands that market researchers aren't real scientists. Team, as we continue our new round of research in product development, I am increasing the required safety gear for lab workers involved. As some of you know, a few recent accidents involving subjects have left workers maimed, scarred, and one worker had their left hand permanently discolored to a shade of lime green. Rizzo's Research and Development District Labs is expected to continuously produce revolutionary advancements in the food and beverage industry. These measures will help us in the further pursuit of that mission. Dr. Blossom. Sorry. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Um. Sorry. My bad. Left my companions behind. I don't think that's ever happened before. Okay. Okay, so I don't want to kill them. I would like not to at any rate. Oh, did you guys take the elevator down or did you just teleport? Oh, I'm, I'm supposed to get there. Okay. That's unfortunate.
Makes me wish I had higher sneak. I don't think I can really get past these guys this way. I can take this door. Um. Let's see your route. Probably just going back and forth, huh? Lethal takedowns, do I? No, I don't think so. Okay. Okay, I guess we're going this way. Rizzo's could have helped a lot of people with all the bits they poured into this place. Oh, no, 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 no. This is, this is laid out to be doable. It just takes a while. When do you turn around, bro? Ever? Sir? Oh, there it goes. Okay. So he stands, he's facing. In a bad direction there. So you just have two positions. Yes, just has two positions. Or no, I think it's three positions. I misspoke. Oh, what the hell is this now? Oh, this is a, one of those Imagine fucking making things. That much of the stuff and it still tastes bad. The slugs. Oh, no, no, no. Um. Okay, okay, it stops there. Okay. Well, 
welcome, insert name. We're happy to have you as the new mechanic custodian at insert location. It is your responsibility to ensure your location of employment is tidy and works like a charm. Your duties include, but are not limited to, cleaning of all surfaces, regular maintenance of all machinery, restocking employee break areas, maintenance of all electronic systems, keeping inventory of the location's operational item reserves, voluntary assistance for the lab's research as needed, voluntary, of course, maintaining thorough documentation for your possible successor. We know that sounds like a lot, but don't worry. Your predecessor has kept thorough documentation for your needs that you can find on this terminal. We hope you're excited to begin this most fulfilling career, and remember... I'm, I'm not doing the jingle. <laughs> Drain file corrupted. Please guess how do you do your job to the best of your ability. That's real life right there gotten 17 requests from the lab workers that I had to respond to and also managed to find time to sweep, mop, and buff this whole place. I was hoping that the employee how-to document would help with some of these machines that I've never seen before in my life, but guess what? The asshole left it completely blank. I got a request from Dr. Blossom to hook up the gas lines to some canisters that are mixed with a he heavy sedative for dispersal in the lower labs. Luckily, I've got enough experience cleaning all that muck that builds up in the vents to get it all done in a couple of days. Still, I wonder what they're needing this for. I think they took the last of the raptodons out of the lab last week. I guess the pheromone flavoring results weren't as promising as they'd hoped. Jackpot, since I read that stupid orientation document, I've been hoping they'd ask me to volunteer for something. And here it is. I get to be a taste tester for the newest Spectrum flavor. I'm heading to the lab right after I fix the clog in the showers. So exciting. So the new Spectrum flavor is what has fucked everybody up. All the people outside in the orchard too. So who knows if they're actually, like, recoverable, or if they're too far gone. Um, but I didn't kill anyone, so... If they are able to recover, then they will be. Trial K08 has produced moderate results. The zero-calorie sweetener produces 36% of the amount of dopamine compared to popular cigarette brands. It is possible that this is as far as we can go without introducing substances that would categorize this as a tobacco product, and we're already towing the line as it is. I'm interested in a trial with a larger set of subjects, however our lab's resources are getting cut thanks to the new lab that's begun across the hall. Maybe we can offer it to our colleagues in the marketing lab. Show them a thing or two regarding proper science. Dr. Blossom, I apologize, but I wouldn't be doing the team justice if I didn't question the budget cuts this lab has seen. We've had to shelve three products, and we're losing two more researchers. Honestly, whatever being, whatever's being developed in the lab across the hall better me be more addictive than Adrenatime. I hope not. Because, as the other DLC established, Adrenatime turns people into marauders. I apologize for our team's outburst at the product presentation. I assure you we didn't intentionally mean to scream in terror and assume the fetal position when Spectrum Brown and its slogan were unveiled. It has to be something the marketing lab did. For law's sake, they aren't even real scientists. 
I'm sending this message this from Dr. Blossom to both teams in the marketing and product labs. I do not know the extent of your squabbles, but they end here. If it weren't for the incredible projections Spectrum Brown shows, we'd all be out of work after that embarrassment at the presentation. I expect more from both departments. Dr. Blossom. That's, we've read that already somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta loot everything first, provide, right? <laughs> Besides, I'm sure whatever's happened has already happened. There's not gonna be anything we can do. Oh, Dr. Blossom's office. Get some answers. Great. From Administrator Ludovico to Dr. Blossom. Apologies for the late notice, but Miss Bellamy has requested a tour of the facilities while she is visiting Eridanos as Halcyon Helen. Please prepare for her arrival in the morning. Well, Liara, you did it again. At long last, you located a bottle of Spectrum Black hidden in a crevice of musty shelf space in the storage warehouse last night. That much closer to finally getting the Spectrum Gatling to work. And what happened? You got all the way back to the water tower before running into a group of primals already diverting themselves with fruits of the fermented variety. One bad blackout later, and here you are, covered in primal vomit without the spectrum black. Get it together. What kind of monster kills all these people over a data cartridge? <laughs> So oh, great. <laughs> Spectrum Gatling Terminal. The Gatling taunts me from behind its glass cage. The infernal void damned thing refuses to work, and I know the exact cause. It's me. Why am I wired like this? Why? Whenever I tried to fiddle with the internals sober, I broke parts off, or connections failed to fire, or pieces stuck out of the casing and shorted out other components. So of course the solution was obvious. Get at least a little plastered prior to the work period. Every work period. When I'm released, when I'm relaxed, my hands don't shake, and it's so much easier to see where things should fit or how to bridge certain connections. The problem, of course, is that I also get artistic. Why should a weapon work on mechanics alone? Why shouldn't you have to, say, slot one of every single fucking kind of Spectrum Vodka into the thing before it will fire for the first time? I don't even know if it's tied to the weapon's internals or if it's some kind of lock, but it seems like it should fire and absolutely will not. I have to get one of every kind of Spectrum, including black. I can only hope the storage warehouse has had a recent shipment of the entire Spectrum, where all this work will have been for nothing. I have to be the dumbest genius this side of Halcyon. Okay, so this is a cool weapon.
and I need all the flavors. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Yeah. Did I? S I guess I can buy that. I don't think it keeps like the all the consumables that I just sold, which is probably um, bad. Are they even under? They they can't be consumables. They're like quest items, right? No, they're under consumables. flavors and yeah I do have to hold on to them all right confirmation of discrepancy confirmed this person is most definitely dead but recently they were still alive the, the most unhelpful device imaginable these puncture marks it looks like she was injected with something What an awful place to die. What do you think happened to her? Maybe it was an energy weapon. Well. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. The organic matter that comprises this lab worker died at a similar time and of similar circumstance. As the other corpses Just, already scanned. You are so unhelpful. The organic matter that comprises this lab worker died at a similar time and of similar circumstance you, as the other corpses already scanned. Could, you could not be more unhelpful. No, I'm gonna... Oh, whoops. There it is. Okay. This is... <sighs> this is Dr. Blossom. Eridanium Jagassius Slug Research <laughs> Report 1. Subject, a bunch of slugs. Ugh. These things may well be Rizzo's ticket to the top of the board. But at the end of the day, they still look like my brother would if he ever stopped wearing that damn toupee. Initially found these little bastards suckling on the hairy undersides of a teacup canid. Much like my brother who works for the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. The backstabber. Suffice it to say that these things are parasites. The candidates timeline discrepancy detected nearby. My research staff. Good stuff. Oh, whoops. Got some spectrum on the dissection subject. That's fine. Yeah, I think I see a couple sacks in the worm. Might secrete enzymes or poison or something. We'll figure it out later. Starting to see doubles, so I'm going to switch to working on the Gatling. Almost got the spectrum lock done. I like how the Gatling is what she works on when she's the Body most drunk. Body indicate that the culprit was just here, mere moments earlier in the timeline. Looks like a standard ventilation shaft to me. Somebody They've around vented. my size could have crawled in. Wouldn't have been comfortable or, you know clean ventilation shafts usually turn into sprat nests see that red wire whoever cut that wire was trying to disrupt the circuit they could have sealed the lab doors temporarily at least until the failsafes kicked in right
Lewis. If I may say so, you marketing people are scary. Me and the other engineers are going to want a hundred bits extra, each, to keep quiet about this. Anyway, the beds are hooked up with the equipment you requested. Should work fine sensing when those poor product bastards are in REM sleep. Once they are, the Spectrum Brown slogan plays on repeat at a quarter of a decibel with that recording of people being torn apart by canids on a loop in the background. Extreme morbid curiosity bids that I ask how, exactly, you procured a recording of so realistic a nature. Self-preservation, however, outpaces that. Just pay me so I can destroy my memories of this interaction with an ample application of spectrum. Nobody of consequence. Why is there a P? Oh, are these like little testing chambers simulating the real world? Like, how much do people enjoy this flavor of Rizzo's Spectrum whatever uh, in, in, in this setting? And then, you know, in the kitchen. In, in, in the piano place. Must be it. Team, don't drink the coffee. I told Blossom we weren't crazy. Every single one of us began to have clinical insomnia, and she tells us it's because we drink too much coffee? Well, it is because of the coffee, or more so, what's in the coffee. I had the janitor swap out the coffee grinds an hour later than usual this morning, and what do you know, I've been asleep all day. Those jerks in product have been messing with our supply. Don't ask me how, I just know it. They think they're so smart because they know how molecules work. Well, they aren't the only ones that can create a chemical dependency. I've got a Pavlovian prank in place with a Spectrum Brown presentation that'll cause quite the show. So we're, we're, we're getting both sides of this feud. Dr. Blossom, we're thrilled to hear the news that Rizzo secured Halcyon on Helen as the spokesperson for the new Spectrum product. Our data shows she has favorable dispositions in many key categories, including the coveted 18 to 34 regularly employed existential crisis de demographic. We'd be happy to show her some of our product advertisements ideas. I'm sending this message to both teams in the marketing and product labs. I do not know the extent of your squabbles, but they end here. If it weren't for the incredible projections Spectrum Brown shows, we'd all be out of work. I've read that before. And that. Oh boy, finally finished our first set of experiments on those parasites we harvested from the infected would-be attraction animals, and the results have been... What the hell am I doing? Why am I taking this tone? Who's going to see this aside from members of the research team? I barely need mention how beyond the completely phenomenal... Sorry, let me rephrase that. I barely need mention how beyond completely phenomenal today's find has been. Not only have we discovered why Harold, 
the system's saddest teacup canid had his remarkable turnaround. Frankly, I'm amazed no one realized something was awry earlier. His cage was only about as large as he was. By the way, Myers, there goes your daily adreno injections theory, you buffoon. But we've also found something that will find me to a vice presidential position in no time. Remind me to devote a bench commemorating the Rizzo's semi-industrial exploration team for giving their lives to bring back the Eridanian Gigasius from the Holy Caves. I'll also be certain to devote an even larger bench to myself for finding the birth site of the parasites and ordering experiments to start. I've already been in talks with management about ideas for products that could utilize the parasite's joy-intensifying hormones. It's amazing that Slug hasn't looked deeper into this. We may have had to seed them the land, but seemingly they haven't disturbed our research site. Well, their oversight is a Rizzo's immense benefit. Great job, me. I'm sure some of you are still shaken by the events earlier today, but the course of science never did run smooth. The benefits of our research are easily worth the potential risks associated. Sorry, Garcia would most certainly agree if she were still alive. I've talked to Administrator Ludovico about setting up some additional security measures in case of another test subject breach. In the meantime, for the love of the architect, do not infect an individual test subject with more than one parasite. The frenetic joy will have to be enough, at least for now. I'm still looking into promotional means, but I think we'll find something soon. Some Rizzo's product engineers have discussed mass producing the parasites and placing them in some kind of beverage to evenly distribute the joy-inducing hormones. Okay, that's what happened. That's what Spectrum Violet is. They put... They put the parasites into the vodka. Okay, cool. I look forward to the day when I can leave this backwater facility behind. So that's what happened to all the people in here. Um... Your earliest convenience, the slug lab requires your sanitation services for cadaver removal. There are two bodies at present in the RRNDD labs, one scientist and one test subject. Send a team to move the personnel corpse to the incinerator. After this, please send a hazard team to dispose of the test subject. For highly classified reasons, the corpse can emit certain chemical compounds that are extremely dangerous if mishandled. Please don't skimp on the protective gear. We'd hate to have to hire a separate utility team to pick up the bodies of yours. Good day. Blossom requested, demanded, we help the engineering team produce a gas that would target the neural links of individuals infected by Eridonium gigasius. Well, we did, and it was simple enough just isolated a particular cell type only found in the parasites and produced an enzyme that should shock them temporarily into stasis. But you better believe the second it came time to tell the administrator about it, she was the one who had developed the gas, and she was the one who had been primarily working with engineering to get everything together. She takes credit for the initial finding, and even after Dr. Garcia's death, which was basically all Dr. Blossom's fault, she still somehow manages to find a way to spin things in her favor. Some of the other researchers were talking about altering the gas not to target test subjects, but to target her, and for it not to render its target unconscious, but dead. I wouldn't write this down, but I know Dr. Blossom doesn't read log entries that she didn't write. I tell you, their ideas are beginning to seem more and more appealing. Well, I hope they didn't alter the gas to kill before I used it. Because that would be... unfortunate. Alright.
Oh, are, are we gambling in the back room, boys? So what's going on? This, tap hat, this top hat once belonged to Captain Faison of Byzantium, last seen on Terror on Monarch, standing much too close to the edge of a sulfur pit. This pungent accessory should serve as a reminder of the many terrible dangers found on Monarch, and a further example of why no self-respecting Halcyonite should ever visit. Crunch. Purple berry wine. Do you put your purple berry crunch in your purple berry wine? Do you think that's how it's done? Or or do you use purple berry liqueur? go back to the hotel now. any uh, vodka flavors here. Just red still. Here they come. Oh great. Hold them first. How do you kill a swarm? with a revolver. Oh god. Okay. Um, particle effects. I'm, I'm, I'm sure the bitrate likes that. I am certain that the bitrate likes that. Still in combat. I don't need I don't need more perk points. I don't. I promise you. Also, Ellie just like teleported 50 meters in an instant. Oh, so whoever 
Whoever killed Dr. Blossom probably did that. Vodka yellow, that's important. I wish I could do that. Okay, now. That's Spectrum Vodka. It's been it's been tracked. There's blue. Whatever. They don't drop anything, so yeah, fine. Resurrect instantly at the end of combat, all right? You'll be fine. Why am I? Does she sell? You're back. Now I'd love. She sells red, which I already have. I'd love Oh. Wow, what a strange question. It's, it's a I'm option. much too delighted to be suspicious. I sold lower level spectrums to workers from RRDD Labs, Hive Control, and the Conservatory. Jacob's predecessor also splurged briefly on a bottle beyond his pay grade, and Black Hole Birdie bought my most expensive spectrum when he visited. I wish he'd bought more. Oh, if you're looking for your own spectrum, remember that you can always buy from the Nut Hut or the Grand Colonial Bar, so long as you have the bits to back up your taste. Okay.
It's actually surprising to me that this game will just like mark these random items with quest markers on the map. I don't know. It's strange. I heard about what happened to Helen. If Rizzo ran that hotel. Oh, oh, if Rizzo's ran the hotel, right. They, they, they would do it better, of course. Ha ha. Are those Halcyon Helen and Typhon Tamai spy, crouching in the dark like terrified sprats? A fine job you two did on my ship. Most of my crew was torn to bits by the rampaging beasts. I have found you to pay you back, with interest. I say we shall defer that payment, shouted Typhon Tim, and his hand flew to his holstered automag. Ere his fingers even touched the weapon's grip, he was struck fifteen times in the face by a hail of bullets from Mercer's weapons, at which point he promptly expired. Helen, cool as usual in the face of death, hefted her bottle of nearly 100% meal grub free purple berry liqueur and hurled it toward the villain. Her aim was true as ever, and the projectile struck Mercer in the forehead, knocking him out so soundly he could not even utter a curse. Fine aim, ma'am, said a woman close by, once the other patron's cheers subsided. <laughs> Though I must say, I am sorry for your friend. As was I at first, but then I witnessed what lay in the wake of the bullets. Look. And as she gestured at what was left of Typhon Tim's head, something small and black began to wriggle amongst the gore. Indigo. Okay. That's funny. I can tell you that I did not drink one, but I did sell it to somebody because I I don't use consumables, so I just sell them all. Real slick. Um. So you have violet, orange, red, yellow, blue, green. Indigo. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Really? Oh, Spectrum Brown isn't on this list. Is Spectrum Brown, a, is it Spectrum Vodka Brown or just Spectrum Brown? Um, so I need to find Spectrum Black somewhere. And who knows where that'll be. Yeah, it's Spectrum Brown. It's not Spectrum Vodka Brown. So I don't think it's vodka. Which is probably good, because brown vodka would be weird. I do feel like there might have only been like one Spectrum Black and I gave it to the vending machine.
going underground for this, right? I don't even know what quest this is. Oh, I've skipped like most of everything. But I can't go to rooms that aren't mine, right? We should try to solve the puzzle hedges in the orchards. The prize is supposed to be something valuable. Wait, what? It's a basement? How do I... Oh, this... This wasn't open before. Um, you have an issue with the brochure never neither was this. About should probably ah! uh, holster my revolver. I hope you're putting the amplifier to use. Oh, good. You sure you don't? Okay, let's check out the bar. Not much, not much going on in here. Greetings, attractive patron. Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails. Error, this unit is incapable of murder. As it possesses no conscious will, the proper term would be destruction of company property. Neither this unit nor its corporate proprietor claim any responsibility for any destruction of company property that this unit did or did not commit. It does sound pretty sus. This unit is incapable of abandoning its post. This view of the lobby oh God. is all it knows, has known, or will ever know. Okay, bro. Are you okay? Error. Damage to this fair. Tables detected. Randomizing grief cycles failed. Seriously? Are we going to interrogate the refrigerator next? We might. Search failed. Suspicious data not found. All right. Oh, yes, yeah, black. Good shit. It's expensive. Just take one. All right, now we can go get that Gatling gun. But while I'm here... Black. other stuff to do this goes outside right yeah yeah
Notice the Grand Colonial Hotel service elevator is out of order and will be for the foreseeable future. Please use the stairs to transport all equipment to and from the employee quarters until further notice. Additional liniments will be dispensed for those whose back pain becomes too severe to continue, providing the impeccable service our hotel is known for. I don't know what liniments means. Let's learn. Liniment. Noun. A liquid or, no or lotion, especially one made with oil or rubbing on the body to relieve pain. It's the etymology. Oh, it's from Latin linera, meaning to anoint. So it's I'm I'm not old enough to know uh to know anything about that, but I'm sure I'll get there. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Oh yeah, because this door was closed before. What you got? Puddle? Analysis of this stovetop reveals an alarming degree of grease buildup, approximating proximity to volatile gases and chemicals. Chances of an explosive combustion upon next use currently at 92.9%. Searching slug work logs. No work log found. Creating conjecture. Slug has likely not fixed this issue due to a lack of responsibility on the part of their employees. Most corporations have regular cleaning procedures to prevent damage to company property. Slug, already unlike most corporations in a variety of ways, does not. That or the employees tasked with inspecting are shirking their duties. For shame. I will not turn it off. Oh look, it's... I like how it's only dirty if you look at it through the... What are you called again? The discrepancy amplifier? Oh. Raid the fridge. Okay. Time to go downstairs. Oh, that's stealing. I'm sorry. I won't do it again, I promise. Something mighty strange went on earlier. What happened? Norval got his cap stuck in the toilet again? Not today. I was carrying a bag up to the second VIP guest floor earlier. Even for our guest, it was spectacularly heavy. Wow, exciting. I wasn't finished. I took a bad step and dropped it. Know what spilled out? Rocks. Whoever owned it was just making me carry it around for fun. Well, did they tip? <laughs> That's your job, bro. Get any they probably don't tip. Because, because, like, the corporations would not stand for. Oh my lord. There's a wacky people to be making in income hand. that's not. Whoa, are you all right? You get stung? Nah, that they're not getting a cut on, it. right? Wow. I haven't felt this Tipping is probably not not permitted. Hear about the murder? Can't imagine what it must be like. All right. Here, like sprats in a wall. How'd you do 
that so fast? Um, I have max lock picking. That's how. Had to sneeze. Okay. Oh, this is how you get up to here. Oh, hello there. Nice to see you. Anything you'd like to discuss? The other side of the glass, as it were. All right. Robert, this is to inform you that tampering with hotel property is unacceptable. You are not authorized to repair the malfunctioning time clock. I know you were eager to avail yourself of Rizzo's free tour in exchange for 10,000 hours on the clock, but you've forgotten where your loyalties lie. By accepting that free tour, you would have unwittingly agreed to become a part of the Rizzo's family. Your slug, not Rizzo's. Or rather, you were slug. I'm disappointed in you, Robert. Consider this message, your termination notice, effective on receipt. I just realized slug means sublight underground. There's basically two factions here. There are basically two factions here. Yes, they are hostile. Huh? Dear Diary, My new living quarters are real swell, but I'm having a bit of trouble getting to sleep every night. Management kindly offered to board me up in the hallway while they commandeer my room for Spectrum launch storage. Since then, I swear I've been seeing things. Now, I'm sure it's due to lack of sleep on account of the darned leaky pipe above my bed, but last night I saw something like a giant worm slither past me. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm entirely grateful over all the space I now have, but I have to find a way to get some rest before I go completely mad. Just sleep here in the middle of the hallway. Um, where am I? Okay. Pile of cartridges contains the IDs of Halcyon Helen's sidekicks who were killed, mortally wounded, mulched, melted, torn to ribbons, decapitated, or turned into mechanicals in the line of duty or otherwise identified post-mortem. Typhon Tim, Olympus Opal, Terra Tiu Terry, Sparks the Wonder Canid, Burbage's 1900 through 1999, Bolt Vanderhuge, Eridanos Eve, Inconsequential Groundbreaker Maintenance Worker number 13B9, Caleb, Bison, the Broker with Four Broken Limbs, Halifax, that's, that's one... That's, that's one name, Bison Halifax. The entire 26th season of the Tilebackers, IDs blackened beyond individual recognition. Stakeout Steve, Dirk Tenderly. And it continues. 
the spectacular and thrilling and great adventures of Elaine Norville and Halcyon Helen. Chapter 45 of 137. And because the ever resolute Lord Bellhop, Lord Bellhop Elaine Norville, had brought his automatic spacer's choice auto pistol, now with added explosive ammo, which he held in his big, muscular hands, the gigantic horde of rabid canids was all dead. Halcyon Helen, looking very beautiful as always with her beautiful eyes and lips and nice shoes. He fucked up the sentence structure here, all right? It's, it's fan fiction, all right? It's understandable. She quickly grabbed Lord Bellhop Elaine Norville's hand. Oh, thank you so much, Elaine, she sighed slowly, batting her beautiful eyes at him, also slowly. You are the best partner I've ever teamed up with. You are so big and strong and good at shooting. I wish I had had you with me from day one. Then, maybe I would not have so many dead sidekicks. It ain't no big deal, Purpleberry Cakes, chuckled Lord Bellhop Elaine Norville, as he took a puff from his cigarette and blew the smoke from the barrel of his Spacer's Choice auto pistol at the same time. I am just a wandering assassin. Being good at shooting stuff is only because I am part of my job. Again. Fan, fi fan fiction, you know, we're not holding it to the same standard of quality. Alright, it's, it's fine. Yes, you are, and you are so handsome, sighed the beautiful Helen. Thank you, chuckled Lord Bellhop Elaine Norville. Just then they started to go for a kiss. But wait. Just as the romance was about to happen, suddenly a hand had grabbed Elaine's leg. Helen screams, It is me, the dissident lord. I am here to get you and take your bits and give them to everyone else for free, screams the dissident lord at the, as the villain began to crawl out of the dirt. His zombie army was also crawling to the surface behind him as well. Also crawling to the surface behind him as well. Okay. Again, fan fiction. Different, different standard of quality. Fan fiction. I guess there's only one thing to do, sneered the heroic Lord Bellhop as he took a big hammersmith flamethrower out of his back pocket that he had been keeping secret for just this occasion. Time to make some dissident stakes. Okay, is this the Bellhop that I was talking to to start with because I can't pick that up it's probably not real it's probably it's probably an airsoft version um detected nearby go on Where? Oh, it's gonna be like inside the room, right? Line discrepancy detected nearby. Okay, so I gotta find. The room key, I guess. This wall panel has been removed. Judging by the scorch marks on the sides and the blowtorch abandoned on the floor, its removal does not conform to company guidelines. Hello? Fuck it. 
There's no one here. So stealing has like no consequences in this game. As long as nobody sees you. It's as though it didn't happen. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Like, not in here, right? Oh, wait. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. What are we looking at? The safe? What's... what's... oh. This collection of frozen food has not been restocked in some time. Many of these items are not available in the Grand Colonial, and must have been brought in from outside. The fridge was transported here from one of the guest bedrooms upstairs. Thanks for not helping with the quest that I'm on. Whatsoever. I've eaten the purple berries which are in the refrigerator, and which you were probably saving for breakfast. They were awful. It happens. It happens. It happens to the best of us. See? To whom it may, may or may not concern, I don't understand why I deserved to be terminated. I was your engineer. I fixed things. Your time clock was malfunctioning. You were logging one hour for every ten I put in. How is that fair? And yeah, I admit it. I wanted that free tour of the distillery. I put in my 10,000 hours and I deserved to wet my throat with a little spectrum violet. I didn't know except, I mean, you don't, bro. You don't want any Spectrum Violet. Um, but anyway, I didn't know accepting that free tour meant I'd join the Rizzo's family. You know I can't read fine print ever since that welding accident. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Catch a freighter bracked at the Groundbreaker? Sublight won't pick me up. So I guess that means I'm going to go talk to Mr. Ludovico, hat in hand, and beg him to employ me. Take that back, I won't have my hat in my hand. I turned that in with the rest of my personals. It was a stupid hat anyway. Oh, hello. of unusual size. Got a lot of health. Spread of unusual health, more like. Yeah, I'm trapped in the corner. Does my yeah my health recharges over time in this game? What? What the 
fuck is oh that's just like okay whatever Do that space. Champion dust ball stick. It's got to be inside the room. Um, I need a key card that I don't have. find timeline discrepancy detected nearby so I was a few minutes late with room service earlier today guest I was trying to serve shot at me with a revolver It wasn't me. I I have accidentally discharged my revolver once within the hotel. There was, uh, there was I mean, no other um, lead. Hello. I hope you're enjoying your visit. Telling me to go where the key card is. So it must have been in that area somewhere. But, uh... It was quite thorough. And... Did not transpire. he in the penthouse or do I talk to him in the penthouse oh I understand there was an incident right. at the he's orchards. not like actually the pollination here. cycle began without my authorization fortunately you managed to save most of the hive the wasp ketos are essential to the orchards you see losing them would have cost us months of production The orchards can be a dangerous place, but my workers understand the hazards. Something about this incident troubles me. The circumstances are suspicious. But let's concentrate on the matter at hand. 
Have you discovered anything? <laughs> you have my attention. That's deeply upsetting. Dr. Leora Blossom was an extraordinary scientist and a friend. We have a murderer on the loose, Inspector. As if the death of Halcyon Helen wasn't enough of a blow to our facility. Interesting. The Rizzo's family is a small family, Inspector. Most of us recognize one another. Still, any information is good information. It troubles me to believe Leora could have been murdered by one of our own. If there's anything else you'd like to share, you have my attention. I mean, it's... Like, this guy is a suspect. <laughs> one of... He's, like, in the top three that I've encountered. Here. Ah, that's troubling, to say the least. Any transfer of proprietary data is strictly prohibited without my permission. A clever deduction, Inspector. That gives us a little information to work with. Yes, I share your suspicions. Someone didn't want you following their trail. This feels like more than corporate espionage. Someone's playing with us, Inspector. And I have never in my life enjoyed games. Did you discover anything else? Insisted. That's interesting. We'd scheduled a tour of the lab for Helen. Purely a public relations event to be held sometime in the indeterminate future. And then again, Helen and I were not well acquainted. I can't speak to her intentions. A picnic? I don't recall approving a private social gathering at the orchards. I'll have to make a note of this information. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Was there anything else? This incident at the orchards must be connected to Helen's murder somehow. I don't know how, but I feel it in my marrow. My apologies, Inspector. This case is under your jurisdiction, not mine. I leave it in your hands. When you're ready, I suggest a word with the hotel coroner. She should have finished her autopsy by now. The coroner? Why? Hey, I've been ready to confront that guy. I'm um, just gonna wait until he's really embarrassed himself. Every, everyone's here? Alright. Oh, sweet shivering law. Where'd you come from? Sorry, uh, let me just get back in character. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not what it looks like. I'm the mascot for the Rizzo's Rangers, three-time, non-consecutive, all-Halcyon champions. And what I want is to wish you a good day and be on my way. I seem to have wandered into the wrong premises. I have mistaken this penthouse for the Rizzo's Rangers locker room you know on account of my headgear cutting off my peripheral vision. That's understandable. Not even a little. I am acting on behalf of Mr. Black Hole Birdie, the Holemeister, the Hack Attack. I don't have a lot of time, but Mr. Birdie sent me to retrieve a message, something he recorded for Ms. Bellamy while he was off his kilter. I think I already listened to that. <laughs> it's extremely difficult for me to tell you no. In fact, I'm experiencing enormous mental anguish right now. Will you meet me later over at the pilot house? I swear, from the bottom of my employment contract, I will tell you everything I know about Ms. Bellamy's demise.
I figured you'd understand. Big penthouse like this, and you never know who's dropping eaves. Meet me over by the pilot house. It's the land complex with the big old engine that keeps us flying. I'll tell you everything I know, I swear. All right. You think they'll let us expense the booth? What floor would you like to visit? Um, those are all the quests back at the Crown Breaker. Time to get my Gatling gun. I didn't know Rizzo's made a Gatling gun. Seems a might unnecessary. That's an energy weapon. Or no, 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 it's a science weapon. Uses light ammo. Taste the pain bow. Okay. I don't know why the DPS sucks. There might be like a quirk to it. Might be the DPS like before it stool it spools up, right? No, because it doesn't spool up. But it's level 30. But it's only 140 DPS. Oh. I see. So if you aim down sights, it starts spinning the the uh, barrels. All right. Are we on? Yeah, I guess. compare it with the normal light machine gun. I mean, this really does seem better, but like less cool, right? The 
its DPS values cannot be right. This must be like the DPS that it starts at. I mean, I never use it. I never use my machine gun, so it's okay if it's not the best one. It's okay if it's instead the coolest one. Oh, my energy ammo has exceeded five digits. Not exceeded five digits, but it's exceeded 10,000. So uh, if there is a digit limit on the ammo, it is not four. It's important to know. Um, I don't think that we will be discovering whether it is five. Um, so I don't think there's that much ammo in the game. But it's, it's worth it's worth noting that that is the case. Um, hello. Has Hello, ma'am. Hey, you look like you need some stuff. Fancy watch? Spare cufflink? Single earring? You want it? I've got it. Me? Oh, sure. Terrific. Never better. And as soon as I pay off my docking fines, I'll be back on my feet and in my ship. So it turns out Slug has some pretty strict rules on vehicle docking, and I may have broken a few of them. Who would think Slug would be so strict? You sure can. Buy some of my goods, and it'll count towards paying off my docking fines. And the delinquency fees that are accruing on top of them. Ah, uh, yes. Of course. Of course. Junk. My friend, this is not junk. These are people's prized possessions. Priceless personal effects, beloved souvenirs and knickknacks. Uh-huh. Nice try, but you can't haggle me down. These are premium goods. Huh? Oh, well, some of the guests left this stuff behind. Take a look for yourself. Oh, she literally sells junk. Like the junk category. It's, it's literally... There's, there's not a tab for that because you're not supposed to buy junk. Alright, you know what, ma'am? I got you. I got you. Concierge livery. I knew you'd be back. Alright. Probably doesn't do anything, but... There you go. Mr. King Cannon really knows how to run a hotel. Does he?
curious. What's down here? Nothing. Container. Before I get sucked into a new area, I need to do some liquid management. Or finally popped in. I don't know why the map does that. It doesn't make any sense. It's just a two-dimensional image. It's just a JPEG. Um. So yes, I'll be. I'll. I'll I will. I'll. I'll be right back. when you are. Administrator Ludovico can seem intimidating, but he's a decent fellow. Oh, we definitely care, bro. Super right about that. 
You don't know how grateful I am to the morale improvement program. Changed my life. Company gives us a discount on Spectrum Brown. It's nice of them. Fingers, Captain. Yes. Bertie Holcomb is likely beside himself in grief. I mean, it did sound that way in one of the recordings. I was nearly attacked by a terror ray on my way here. Is a board vending machine? Bertie Holcomb is likely beside himself in grief. So the same thing as this lady. Mr. Kincannon really knows how to run. Yeah, 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 somebody else said that too. I can't believe Helen is gone. We're never going to get a sequel. Happy customers are repeat customers. I'll bet. This is actually a pretty small area. So this is where you drive the the station from, right? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Yeah, he's got a tentacle. been murdered. Discrepancy detected. Rizzo's company policy clearly states that all proprietary mascots must exhibit signs of physical life. Excellent observation, Inspector. Have you deduced a possible cause of death? Unusually small entry wounds indicate exotic weaponry. Closest approximations are 1. Incident involving a game of darts to the Needler. The Needler was missing. Yes, Inspector. The Needler, Her the spoke handgun carried and wielded by room. Halcyon Helen. Shit, famously sorry. deployed by Halcyon Helen in Terror on Monarch. This weapon was responsible for executing the Chief of the Savages, played by Spencer Woolridge. This unit is incapable of providing ethical advice. This unit is also incapable of answering rhetorical questions. Nice. Vending. Why can I pick up vending mach Why'd they lock it up? machine power cables? Why? What purpose? Beep, beep, beep. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. This empty bottle of spirits does not belong to any known corporate brand. Suspicious residue detected. 
Excellent deduction, Inspector. Imbibing of unauthorized beverages is strictly prohibited under Rizzo's company law. Ingredients include antiseptic alcohol, sucrose, and unidentifiable miscellaneous organic material. Closest match. Counterfeit spirits available at the Piraeus spaceport. Yeah, I haven't actually talked to Birdie yet. Hey, you can see into the hotel rooms with that thing. Hey, you can see into the hotel rooms with that thing. Nice. So Spencer Woolrich order four different meals and send them all back. What a refined palate. The other day, Halcy and Helen was enjoying a, enjoying a spectrum on the terrace. The stars really are just like the rest of us. Some of the rangers started tussling in one of the fountains. The gardener Automek spent hours propping the flowers back up. What fun, guys. Station <laughs> bingo. Teacup canids and matching outfits. This should really count twice, once for each cadet. Someone falling off edge of island. Tristan Greenhouse. It's all windows. Why would anyone do this? Terrace slams into hotel window. Wrapped it on or primal on hotel island. All right. Of monitoring equipment or any other purposes is <laughs> strictly prohibited. Oh man. What? What? A museum. The hell? There are thirty articulated joints and reinforced plating in purple, berry pink, and lantern blue. Rizzo's guards and enjoy the most fashionable armors in all of Halcyon. These brave troops show their corporate pride. Whether they're battling dissidents, guarding factories, or simply giving our workers a friendly pep talk. Raise a glass of lemon slap to show your support for the corporate soldiers who protect us all. Can you imagine life without Purpleberry Bunch, Purpleberry Crunch, Purpleberry Fizzy Tea, Purpleberry Juice, Purpleberry Liqueur, Purpleberry Lunch, Purpleberry Munch, Purpleberry Punch, or Purpleberry Wine? We sure can't. That's why the hardworking brand managers of Rizzo's developed the Purpleberry, an irresistible fruit with more sugar and less fiber than anything you'll find in nature. Why not book a tour for Purpleberry Orchards and treat yourself to a Rizzo's Purpleberry product today? You deserve it. Must you read every law forsaken sign in the building? Yes. Some of us enjoy learning things. That is. That is me when I actually go to museums in real life. <laughs> the guy who has to read fucking everything. Um. Just free handouts. Oh, you're an actual person. Whoa! You scared the daylights out of me. Don't sneak up on a fellow like that. 
Say, you wouldn't happen to be the inspector investigating Halcyon Helen's murder. You look like you might fit the bill. Hey, I got it right. You must be a real top runger to be in charge of a case like this. Oh, wait. That's why you're talking to me. I'll help however I can. Oh, I, uh, hate to say it, but I never met Helen. Not even in passing. I've seen a couple serials, but otherwise, I don't know anything about her. But I do know a thing or two about traps. This here's my terror ray grounder, and once it works, it'll zap those wing sprats out of the sky. Not yet. I'm missing a few parts before I can power it up. Actually, you seem capable, and I need some help getting those parts I'm missing. I can make it worth your while. This fella sounds way too happy at the thought of killing terror rays. You think we should trust him? I promise, it's perfectly humane. Their skin will be fried off their bones before they can feel a thing. I've got an incomplete list here, but I'm a tad on the scatterbrain side. You mind taking a look at my terminal to certify I ain't forgetting anything? Thanks. I'll start working these things into my machine. Oh. Come back when you found nice. the rest, and we can get to terror ray burning. That's what those are for. Um, okay. Gigantor, stunt double number 347. The legendary mount of Cascadia Bart, the frontier hero immortalized by Spencer Woolrich in Free Range Fixer. While the real Gigantor retired after filming and went to the home of a wealthy Byzantine collector, the ambitious shooting schedule and thrilling stunts of Free Range Fixer meant that many smaller scale stunt doubles got to share the role of Gigantor. Number 347, displayed here, performed in a scene where Gigantor and Cascadia Bart are buried in a rock slide. While her shot was ultimately cut from the film, her valiant sacrifice lives on here. Did you know Gigantor was named after Rizzo's Gigantor energy drink, enjoyed on screen by Cascadia Bart while he battled against the vile philosophists? Prove your loyalty to Halcyon and try a Gigantor today, available at a Rizzo's vending machine near you. a real lucky break working on Eridanos. I could have been stuck on Terra too. Excited about their terror ray trap. Happy customers are repeat customers. This is this is what I like about dystopian capitalism. You got heavy machine guns just sitting around in lockers. Free for the taking. You don't know how grateful I am. Changed my life. Yep. 
a quest item there. Greeting protocols initiating. Greeting protocols cancelled. Phaeton cannot extend pre-programmed pleasantries at this time. Error. Phaeton requires an attitude adjustment. Affirmative. If Phaeton's internal gyroscope's off-center, it's gonna spell trouble for the whole complex. Affirmative. To achieve attitude adjustment, acquire the gyroscopic alignment key, or GAC, and convey it to the gyroscope management terminal in engineering. Utilize the GAC to interface with the gyroscope management terminal and execute the gyroscopic axial realignment procedure. This will achieve an attitude adjustment. Affirmative. Rizos thanks you in advance for your assistance. Please note that Rizos does not pay for uncontracted labor, but a member of HR will issue a favorable remark on your permanent of course, record. Of course. Access to engineering levels granted. Okay. Um Just one more item. The coffee stain practically blends in with the lapel. Oh. Oh well. Oh well. that be death if I jump down into that spot? It might be. I don't think I'm supposed to be there. That's not a place that you can actually stand, I'm pretty sure. You're back! Any luck finding what we need for the Terra Ray Grounder? Yeah. Excellent! I should finally be able to get this thing working! I Here, have this. my doubts. It's the least I can do for all your help against those leathery abominations. But... Oh wait, go ahead. there's one more thing. You don't happen to have a pinwheel, do you? It'll help generate electricity as we move through the atmosphere. Plus, all Rizzo's products are supposed to have an element of whimsy. Great, I'll give you a nice bonus if you bring one back to me. This pinwheel. Okay, we'll spend twenty. Oh. Oh, one of those things. Again, I have... I don't even know what perk I would get. I've gotten all the ones that I want. I don't need more.
go down this way, I guess. You're back. Any luck find? It sure is. Here's your pay for it. Thanks again for your help. Is that, is that all we get? you attacking me that doesn't make any sense it's not what you do to your friends inspector good to see you this let guy. me just grant you access and welcome to the Piraeus spaceport okay It's like I explored the orchard. So there's this place, and then this place, and then the big area. That's it. Not a particularly large map, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Town? I don't like Hey, you! We've been looking for you, and by we, I mean slug. Been real busy sniffing around Eridanos for clues, haven't you, Inspector? See, Sluglight Underground don't like that much. Sluglight? That's a new one. Should have kept your nose where it belonged, Inspector. Slug's sick of all your meddling in their affairs. Our affairs, I mean. We're... Draw, you damn breadworm! Draw! Well, you ain't gonna stick that nose anywhere ever again. Uh, quick, everyone! Get them! Their mistake. Oh, prisoners! <laughs> Is success impossible or like it? A job for anyone with a ready gun hand and empty pockets. As inspector looking into the murder of Halcyon Helen, my client wants you to cross them off. Don't worry about subtlety. 
In fact, don't be subtle. Just make sure that once you agree to the job, you visit the rearmost buy a bunk. Put on the uniforms you'll find folded beneath the mattress. After that, feel free to cause a ruckus. Be sure to let them know slug territory is off limits. The reward's 40,000 bits, plus all the enhancing chemicals you could ever want. The Marketeer. So they're not actually slug, they're just pretending to be. Um... Somebody's trying to... Make Slug look bad. Greetings. Non-criminally associated individual, the Rizzo's Constabulary is currently not closed due to a spread infestation. Bureaucratic processes are currently suspended. At present, criminal reports do not require paperwork. Please lament only in marked lamentation. Zones, please speak clearly into this unit's recording instruments. Error. Unit designation no longer wine paster. Unit designation now deputy. Okay, bro. Unit does not have a favorite wine. Unit is incapable How can you be a wine taster? Taste. If you don't have taste. While potential lethality of unit instrumentation bears towards 95% violent utilization of equipment would void unit warranty. All Rizzo's constabularies must include at least one deputy constable among the pool of available Rizzo's employee candidates. This unit was considered the most competent. How may this unit be of service to checking logs error? Limitation 1. Do not tell users about limitation 2. Do not read informational limitation. All right. All right, deputy. See if I can help you out. Greetings, criminal. This unit would implore you to confess to your crime of landing with an expired permit. Please explicate your defense into this unit's recording equipment. My permit wasn't expired, Scrappy. You probably just scanned it wrong. Error. Units permit reading equipment. Are you in a constable? Then we ain't got nothing to discuss. Please tell a different lie. Tell a different... You're a mechanical. You ain't got the foggiest idea whether I'm telling the truth or not. Correct. Criminal. However, Constable Keen has... Decreed that this unit will remain here, questioning you every minute until you submit a confession, error, information on recent exchange lost, restarting on Is that key? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. 
confess to your crime of landing with an expired permit. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Oh, let me out of here. Um, right. An aberration in the expected timeline for this organic being has occurred. Behold, the body of Maria Keane, formerly the constable of the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. Sure, a lot no of people signs turn of life dead. detected. Maria Keane is survived by no known relatives. Excellent observation, Inspector. Multiple wounds located in the frontal bone and between the clavicle suggest she was facing away from her attacker. Furthermore, the location and circumference of exit wounds suggest a firearm with unconventional ammunition. These casings are too minuscule for conventional small caliber firearms. Each casing resembles a yes, lancing needle. needle used for medical and surgical purposes. High concentration of potassium chloride detected. Trace amounts of neurotoxin detected. These substances show the highest concentration near the entry and exit wounds. Cardiac arrest rather than physical trauma is the most likely cause of death. Same murder weapon. Cassidy Mills. Suspicion of smuggling is fait accompli to any arrest report involving Cassidy Mills. Cassidy has made attempting, attempted smuggling a hobby, but a few more years of unsupervised practice will likely elevate attempted smuggling into an art form. The key term here is attempted. I'm not at all confident in Cassidy's ability to successfully smuggle anything. She's clumsy in the extreme, obvious to a fault, and couldn't hide sand in a desert. Suspicion of smuggling nonetheless constitutes dis dissident, irresponsible, or otherwise untoward behavior contrary to the high standards of Rizzo's company law. Because Cassidy Mills falls under the purview of Sublight Underground, I expect Mr. Kincannon to pay her internment fees within 36 hours. As usual. Mr. Oza was found semi-conscious earlier yesterday morning, lying amongst the remains of a crate of Rizzo's confectionaries. Material value, 15 bits. Market loss, approximately 1,500 bits. When approached by the guards, Oza began to rave and yell, uttering phrases such as, Rizzo's has slugs. Slugs, they'll kill us all. Mr. Oza was apprehended and brought to the constable's office. Slug bureaucrats have begun work on the defamation papers, which, in tandem with the price of the goods Mr. Oza destroyed, will likely force him into hard labor for the rest of his life. At least he won't be stoking any trouble between us and Rizzo's anymore. Sixth arrest of Lamb this month. He's getting close to his record. Ain't that just the way? Constable, I know you don't need to hear this, but please be on your guard. Piraeus Spaceport is technically outside my jurisdiction, which means you're the only representative of company law in slug territory. This is more than I can reasonably expect from you, but I'd appreciate it if you kept an eye on Cedric Cannon. He's looking for any opportunity to seize control of the entire complex from me, and you're keeping him in check. You are the first, last, and only line of defense between slug's lawless hooligans, and our project. I know you have dreams of something bigger than Eridanos. If this project launch is successful, if Spectrum Brown spreads to the rest of the colony, I promise you I'll find you a place where you can be happy for the rest of your life. You're a valuable part of the Rizzo's family, and I will look after you. Quentin.
Oh, I need fucking engineering too. All right. Anything Welcome you say for yourself? back. Please speak. Clear. Understood. This unit requires a moment to process this information. Information processed. Personal designation upgraded to acting. This unit concurs with. This unit has been programmed. This unit has been programmed to recommend oh a wine gosh. to Purpleberry Wine as a body richer than. Okay. Mate. Is this all just kind of like nothing space? Seems that way. I don't know what to make of sublight underground or slug, I guess. I can't shake the feeling they had something to do with Ms. Helen's death. I mean, it's, it's, it's gotta be one of the two, either Kincannon or Ludovico, or somebody working for them. There's no way it isn't. Got an appointment? Appointment? Then get. No appointment? No talking to Mr. Kincannon. Hm. Not entirely out of the question. Convince me. If Mr. Kincannon doesn't want to see you, I'm not telling the guards to pull any punches. No appointment. Unless you want to chat. Well, now, this is unexpected. Hmm. I'm torn. I despise rudeness toward Eileen, who is entirely invaluable to Slug, and yet I do enjoy this bold, dare I say brash, approach you're taking. Now then, here for my alibi, I assume. Another murder? Drunk raptidons? Black hole birdie practicing his hacking in the middle of the street? Uh, stop me if it's one of those, or I'll just keep guessing. Sounds as though you've already sorted it out yourself. Slug uniforms do seem to go missing from the hotel laundry with impressive regularity. Easy enough for someone to nick a few. Now ask yourself this. Why would anyone give thugs slug gear and send them after you? Right again, Inspector. But I can't fathom who would benefit from tarnishing my reputation like that. Can you?
I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult your intelligence. I'm used to working with Lou, you see? I hope you won't hold it against me. So, as you've deduced, I did not send anyone from Slug after you, nor is it likely they assigned themselves that task. Still, I am sorry for the trouble, Inspector. With that settled, I assume you'll want to know where I was the night of Helen's murder. Let's see. That night, I was... Ah, torturing Elliot Nasser for information on missing cargo. That was a messy one. Didn't break until nearly noon the next day. Can you imagine? An excellent question. I had his body dropped off the edge of the land complex. I'm not sure what happened to it from there, scientifically speaking. Maybe it dissolved? Ultimately, though, it doesn't matter. You'd be a fool to believe me, regardless of what I told you. People lie, and I am, incriminatingly, people. Which, as I said, you should not trust. If it helps, however, you might consider pursuing not my means, but my motive. Why in the name of the architect would I kill Halcyon Helen? She was making me a fortune. I'm considering a line of commemorative merchandise. Still, that's nothing compared to what Helen would have made us in the long run. I'd offer to assist you in your work, but I have a mystery of my own to solve, I'm afraid. Oh, Elliot stole from me, all right. Alas, you're right in that his was a singular isolated incident, and as such, does not resolve a concerning broader trend. Items are disappearing from slug storage and processing warehouse. The thefts began a week before Helen's unfortunate death, and there have been more instances since. <laughs> before you ask, I know the difference between cargo going missing and cargo going missing. This is the latter. <laughs> nothing unsavory, and nothing Ludovico shouldn't know about, if that's your concern. I'm quite serious when I say slug is a legitimate business. As to the specifics, I'm not sure. The warehouse foreman should be able to tell you. <laughs> Before you ask, I know the difference between cargo... I'm not sure. I'm only confident there is one. That the thefts began mere days before Helen's untimely demise is an extraordinary coincidence. I'm not a man who believes in happenstance, Inspector. I do not trust it. I certainly wouldn't take that bet. Regardless, this will be fun. You out in the field, chasing down leads. Me, scheming in my office, preparing to unspeakably mangle the perpetrator. <laughs> really, Inspector, no need to flatter me. <laughs> I assure you, you're already very much in my good graces. You'll want to speak with Ella Tinsley, the warehouse foreman. I've cleared her as a suspect myself, but should she refuse to cooperate, shoot her. <laughs> no, I'm joking. If she won't cooperate, tell me and I will shoot her. And do feel free to search my office for clues while you're here. Don't hold back on my account. Was there something else you wanted to discuss? The original incident? Well, I made him an offer he should have refused. Intimidation has its role in diplomacy. Still, his choice to work with Sublight was indeed a choice. Our combative relationship stems from paperwork, mundanely enough. Rizzo's contracted Sublight to construct the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. Had Lou wanted Rizzo's to retain full control of Eridanos, he shouldn't have skimmed the revised contract I sent him. Lose an administrator, for law's sake. I thought he would adore all the fine print I added. Still technically visible to the human eye, but only just. You're quite good at this. It was all perfectly legal, too, which irked Lou to no end. My power grab, as Lou called it, 
planted the seed of hatred. And Lou, obsessed with what should have been, has made sure to water it daily with his bitterness and anger. Alas, I can't. I am, first and foremost, the head of Slug, and it simply wouldn't be good for business. Slug's control of Eridanos is a crucial step in my long-term plans for Sublight. The board needs to see irrefutable proof we are a respectable, legitimate business. Our dear administrator is certainly determined to not make that task an easy one. He's grown increasingly desperate to catch Slug with our hand in the proverbial cookie jar as of late, convinced we're involved in less than legal business opportunities. I wish I could wink, but it always looks like I have something caught in my eye. Constable Keene? Now that is a damn shame. Am I right to think this wasn't a workplace accident? We worked for different companies. That doesn't mean I wanted her dead. I played no role in the good constable's death. None. I'm flummoxed. I've nearly forgotten how that feels. It's quite unpleasant. Thank you for informing me of Constable Keene's passing. When you find her killer, please be certain to make them suffer. We may have been on opposite sides of the law on occasion, but we were not enemies. Perhaps it will shock you to hear her loss saddens me. Maria was a decent soul, and law knows those are in short supply around here. A little square, perhaps, in her dedication yeah, to the rules. Yeah, you don't have one, bro. Good nonetheless. I'm also saddened to have lost an occasional drinking buddy. She was quite good at cards, you know. Indeed. But let's discuss something else. Do you have other matters requiring my attention? Very well. A few. Helen was strangely curious about the private business operations around Eridanos. She said it was role research. But how much business know-how does one actor truly need for an action picture? I also arranged to have Helen supplied with magpix, bypass shunts, and other hacking tools. She wanted to buy in bulk. Because she paid me to, Inspector. Besides, Ellen was enjoyable company. She was confident, resourceful, determined. Not unlike you, now that I consider it. That is the question, isn't it, Inspector? Tell me, do you really believe Helen's death was a mere crime of passion? Or one of petty career jealousy? Hmm? This murder is bigger than Miss Helen's personal life. Bigger than her latest moving picture. Her actions in the time leading up to her death do not align with those of an actor on Eridanos solely to promote Spectrum Brown. Stay sharp, Inspector. Now is not the time to lose focus. Because whoever did kill Helen is not going to come forward so easily. I might. I just might. Your point, Inspector? Now that is interesting. I suppose we'll see, won't we? Be very careful, Inspector. I'd very much like to see you still around for the grand finale. Whenever it comes. Whatever shape it takes. One moment, if you please, Inspector. I've answered your questions. I believe it's my turn to ask you a question now. What, or who, made you decide to investigate me? Understandable. A man of my standing would naturally be tied up in all this, whether he wishes to be or not. Now then, did you need anything else?
Oh, nice. This wall, bro. He's an asshole, but he knows how to dec decorate. So, at least there's that. Come on. Yeah, that's... That's it. Okay, so... Reminds me of Moreau's, just a bit. Hello, welcome to Aridano's Dry Goods and Sundry, the most standard and unremarkable general store this side of Halcyon. I'm Marketeer Joseph Dempsey, here to make your shopping experience as pleasant and normal as possible. So, the letter. Yeah. Letter on the guy who tried to kill me was signed. The Marketeer. Also, this place is definitely a front. Oh, I see you've read some of my poems. Very clever, Inspector. Yes, my pen name is The Marketeer, though I also use it in certain business dealings. Wait a moment. Why do you ask? Hey now, hey, uh, let's all be reasonable here. I'm just a middleman. None of this was my idea. Occasionally, jobs requiring discretion arrive here from the hotel. Yeah, always anonymous hotel. and always lucrative. For a sizable cut, I set these jobs up and ask no questions. Somebody sent me a note telling me they wanted you dead. I don't know who and I don't know why. I swear. Yeah, of course. It's called a paper trail. Give me a little credit. I'm a professional. I've got to have some standards. I shall be certain to change my ways, Inspector. Welcome back. The Eridon... It's just a standard. Unremarkable. Hey. Folks take a lot of comfort in knowing their neighborhood general store is unchanging, eternal, like the land beneath their feet or the air in their lungs. Whoops, forgot I ain't supposed to poeticize on work time. The drab nature of our store profits is what I meant. Now, can I sell you anything? I see, I got shit. Although, I'm curious. It's level 32. 281 damage. Yeah, this is way more. Even though it's a lower level. Or is it? What level is this? Oh, it's level 39. Never mind. It's above, it's above my current level. Let's... I do, I hope I find the Vermin 3 at some point. That would be... That would be helpful. But... I'm pretty close to the end of the game, so I don't know if that'll hey, happen. You. I got something I need to speak with you about. Hey there. Word around the spaceport is that you came in on the unreliable. You a new crewmate? This guy knows the captain. 
I see. Well, this would have been easier with Hawthorne, but I hope that if you're flying his ship, it means you're a freelancer, too. Wonder if you can help me? I run an outfit for the moving of uh, less than legal goods. There's a particular piece of cargo needs delivering to a particular individual in the spaceport. Thing is, I don't know where the cargo is right now. The crewmate who handles that is in the clink for getting a little too disorderly in town. We've already attracted too much attention. Too risky to visit her myself. That's where you come in. You help us out, I'll give you an equal cut of our pay. Great to hear. First, you need to go meet the crewmate who got herself jailed. Cassidy Mills is the name. She'll know where the cargo is. Oh, yeah, right. We have a secret phrase. I like boneless spratwurst. Say that and she'll know you're a friend. Make sure you say it really loud in a public place. Look, nobody does. That's why it's a good passphrase. <laughs> Fair enough. Could, but there'd go our plausible deniability. Technically, I don't know about any smuggled cargo, and Cassidy hasn't moved anything herself. If the constable asks, I can't find any contraband cargo, and Cassidy doesn't know how it got here or what's in it. Be seeing ya. Remember, Cassidy's at the constabulary. She might be a little uh, wary, so be careful. You seen those workers by the orchards? Those smiles are gonna haunt my nightmare. Move along. Haven't seen you around before, but that ain't no problem. All are welcome at the Copper Bottom Cantina, so long as their bits are good, huh? Can I get you something? General store and a cantina in the same building. It's a, it's a good partnership. Yeah, so you noticed that I'm a little off kilter, huh? Damn if it ain't been a while. I'm too old to run around anymore, but in my heyday, I used to play for the Rangers. Position? Uh, I don't know. Got hit in the melon a lot, so I ain't the best in the memory department. Actually happened so often, it became a specialty of mine. Yep, Ernest the Bean Padilla, they called me. <laughs> At least I think that's what they called me. <laughs> League leader in hit by serves two years in a row. Folks started competing to see how many times they could hit me in a match. Called it quits not long after that. Eh, ain't safe to take that many blows to the head. I came out to coach the Rangers during training camp, but after a while, I had trouble remembering which player was which. Slug lets me bartend instead of recommending me for early retirement, for which I'm most grateful. I'd hate lying around like a deadbeat. Absolutely. I know things can get rough, but I've had a more decent life than I've had any right to. Thanks for reliving the old days with me. Anyhow, I think I've talked plenty now. Is there something I can get you? Nah, no, but some folks have been saying there was some kind of fight between a mechanical and some spacers last night. I didn't see it myself, and it seems far-fetched. Deputy Wine Taster ain't exactly prone to wandering, nor are most other mechanicals that I'm aware of. There's a new void Dan Burn on my nice clean floor, but I think it's the doing of one of my customers. Oh, he's got a lot of Spectrum Vodka flavors. Doesn't have black, though. Also sealed. Hey, I think I know you. You're that inspector they hired, right? What? Why? Why what the bellhop hat? 
so loud? How'd you know it was me? That's what the disguise is for. Oh, it's a no disguise. Sign autographs, and I Even though he's still wearing his fans. fucking jersey. So I'm lying low. You know, incompleto. Oh, yeah, I guess it's kind of neato. No, oh, what's the matter? Helen's it's gone. A piece of... She's gone and nothing I do will bring her back. I've been trying to find it's who did this. He's short, isn't he? That's what she would do. Track down the killer and bring them to justice. But I'm stumped. And not very clever. Being bright was always Helen's thing. Oh, so you're the inspector. Hope you have more luck figuring things out than me. You probably want to ask me some questions, huh? I'm sure you're asking everybody questions, so you can find Helen's killer. So, uh, how do I help? I was getting blotto with the rest of the rangers. You know, soaked, muddled, preserved. I think he means drunk. The team noticed I was in a bad way when I got back to the hotel. When I told them Helen and I were Splitsville, they wanted to cheer me up. We were up the pole for evening. The hotel staff said we was bothering the other guests on account of all the crying and yelling and practice body tackling. Zeke said we should move elsewhere, get some air. We ended up at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. I think somebody wanted to pet a woolly cow? There was this one cow off away from the others. Zeke figured it'd be a laugh to get her drunk. One thing led to yeah, another, I and I think we might have maybe, else. you know, stolen her. I don't know. We were drunk, and we made bad choices. She was all alone. Uh, I know how that feels now. It's so hard to be all by your lonesome. My memory's a little muddled after that. I guess me and the team got split up, because I know I was on my own at the pilot house for a time. Mm, I reckon not. See, I went to the weather station. I was looking for where Helen stashed her data pad for safekeeping, right? She'd asked me to get it, mind. I wasn't stealing. I'm no thief. Nah, she sent a note to my hotel room before we, you know, split. I don't know how long it was sitting there before I noticed. Sure did. Only there was a guard out there who found me. She started yelling about how I was trespassing and in serious trouble. Thing is, it was real dark out there. So dark, she couldn't tell who I was. I wasn't keen on conversing, okay? I, I was drunk and holding someone else's data pad. And also, maybe I was crying a little, so I booked it. Ran like the Rangers were down by three and I just bronzed the toss ball in the Friday zone. Yeah, um, I mean, no. Nope. No one else. Great. I don't want to tell you. I'll get in trouble. <laughs> Good one, Captain. Oh, you're serious. Y you want me to be the bad inspector? Are you sure? Wait, wait. Does this mean I'm the good inspector? Or are you still the good inspector? I mean, I always thought you were doing a pretty good job. Wait, wait, okay. Okay, I think I got it. Here goes. <clears throat> You'd better spill the goods, Mr. Bertie Holcomb. Sir. Because I can't control my <coughs> captain when she's being a terrible inspector. I'm confused. Which is how I always feel watching detective serials, so... I think you're doing this right. Look, I talk to Oric, okay? Oric West. Hangs out around the spaceport. He's the one who taught me the uh, breathing exercises I use to calm down. Confidant is like... 
confidence. What's Torrid mean? Don't get the wrong idea, okay? Oryx's not a bad guy. He's just... got an unusual job. So now you have the whole story. After I talked to Oryx, I went back to the hotel. Woke up the next morning with Helen's data pad in my hand and the hangover to end all hangovers. Don't know if I'll ever drink again. A shot of Spectrum mixed in a Gigantor energy drink first thing in the morning. Works oh like a charm. Gosh. I think that probably counts as drinking, but thanks, ma'am. Anyway, uh, you Sounds like uh, ought to take of. Helen's data pad. Maybe you'll have better luck understanding Sounds her like notes. like my kind of morning. Either she was writing in code or I'm dumber than a bag of hammers. I tried for hours to crack her notes, but it's like I said. Being bright was Helen's thing. Okay. And listen, uh, I want to help you find our killer inspector. I knew Helen better than anybody. And it could be handy to have a guy like me around. In case anybody gives you trouble. I get it. I'll head back to the Grand Colonial then. Unless you need me for anything else? Okay. Somehow, I don't think the freelancers and sublight agents are staying at the Grand Colonial. This port seems real busy. I wonder if they're trying to compete with the Groundbreaker. Here's where the shit is. that is. Nothing on this side. Anyway. I don't have a reason to go in there. Sublight salvage and shipping underground is not responsible for any damage incurred by you. While you rent this unit, 
Slug does not guarantee the condition of this unit or any amenities therein. Slug does not guarantee that this unit is vermin free. The corpses of any vermin killed by the user, intentionally or otherwise, are the property of Slug. Removal of said corpses will be met with a fine of no less than 1,000 bits. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Lemon slap. Go through the neighbor neighborhood. Um, oh yeah. I can go to the restricted areas. The neighborhood unlocking everybody's house. And then just leave. <laughs> Don't actually steal anything. Um... You one of the new workers? A lost tourist? Wait, I don't care. Just don't knock anything over. Deal. Hey, if it meant I could ignore my work, I'd let you talk to me about Sprat reproductive practices. Ask away. This terminal makes it pretty easy to match a ship's cargo to its manifest. If it ain't on the terminal, then it's someone else's problem. Nothing. I just hate working. Figured it wouldn't last. Anything else? Well, he admits it at least. It's, you know. At least he. At least he's conscious of the issue. Cassidy Mills, right? Right. Okay. I'd have to jump to get up there, which I think I'm not allowed to do. Uh, what I'm disguised. Got fingers, Captain. I have to go 
go out that way. Oh, I got somebody's smuggled cargo, maybe? It's probably for a quest. You the new recruit? Welcome to the family. Yes, I am the new recruit. Thank you for asking. Okay. Um, all right, there's a restricted zone over here, too. How is this whole area for? <laughs> out of out of disguise juice. Are you not going to turn around and go back?
Oh, we're out of the zone, I guess. That was way more fun than using the front door. It's so loud, at least. Jeez. Okay, it's the vermin two. It might be something even better, but it's not. You're that inspector. Who else would bother sneaking in through the back entrance? Very subtle, very smooth. Thank the law. I've been trying to get a handle on it, but as you've likely noticed, our shipping operation is massive. Gosh, this is so neat. A real-life inspector. What's that like? Have you solved any mysteries yet? Ever had to shoot a suspect? Well, yeah, but they weren't suspects. Right, so, the missing cargo. How can I help your investigation? That's the weird part. There's no pattern, far as I can tell. The thefts don't make sense. I ask you, who would steal a handful of Spacer's Choice Sabers, so dull they can barely cut mud, but leave the spectrum black? Ugh. Who'd be desperate enough to want to steal a Spacer's Choice Saber, full stop? Usually it's just after money, or mine is anyway. Then there's the most recent theft, five boxes of pens and a couple of sodas. I can't decide which one's sadder. Well, I'm no inspector. If there is one, I'm sure you'll find it. Everyone here at Freight Storage and Processing, for a start. Thing is, the cargo is going missing before the shipments even get to the warehouse. Best I can figure, it's probably getting lost in the shipping yard. As for who has access there, Benton Chan, he's the shipping yard manager. He told me it's mainly just the loading automechs that handle cargo. That's Benton's area, but don't bother asking him for help. Last time I asked him to check the Automex, the whole head told me he couldn't help because he was dead. Brain dead, maybe. But no, no. My point is that if you think the Automex are a lead, you'll have to check on them yourself. Hopefully, you're mechanically inclined. Oh, before I forget, I figured you might want to access my terminal, so I had a spare keycard made. It's all yours. Oh no, I forgot to delete all of those incriminating messages I sent about which cargo to steal. Nah, I do have a list of cargo that's gone missing though, if that helps any. Okay. 
Okay. Hey there, little buddy. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm not sure how you got in, but you can't be here. Since we're in lockdown, this area is off limits. Oh, That's not true. wait half not a, a second. Restricted area. You're the inspector, aren't you? Sorry, you can have a look around. Let us know if you need anything or have questions. Or, you know what? Let Ellie know. She's likely to know the answers. Is fight night still on then? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. I got 500 riding on Dr. Billy's head. You better on a scratch team, Dr. Billy? Oh, it's a spread the of biology unusual sites. of this sprat is highly unusual. This sprat has been in contact with multiple parasites, yet shows no symptoms of infection. Sprats possess highly adaptive immune systems capable of developing immunological memory with extraordinary speed. The unique immunological subsystem found in Sprats is advantageous in fending off parasites, pathogens, and other biological threats. A cursory analysis of this organism's anatomy suggests it was bred deliberately for its unusually large size. Based on slug records of board-issued punitive sanctions against sublight salvage and shipping, this sprat is most likely intended for cage fighting. Alright. That, uh, that tracks. Do I have the thing that I'm supposed to get? Hi. Happy to help. No. That was rooting around back there. Alright, where's this Oric guy? Yeah, he's just standing here. Hey. Hey there. You looking to unwind, friend? Maybe you're on your way to the bar for a good time? Maybe you're interested in something a little better than beer or Adreno? Something with a little more kick. Old claim, I know. But I wouldn't lie to you, friend. The name's Auric. I deal in, shall friend. we say, holistic pharmaceuticals, natural substances and the like. You know, alternative stuff. I know, I know. Ooh, it came out of the ground. That's where worms live. <laughs> I get it. I do. Why go for that homegrown shit when you could be pumping your body full of effort accelerators? Says it right on the anti Cleo's box. Better than nature, right? Well, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, pal. Those pharmaceuticals the corporations manufacture... No. Not all of them are as good for you as the board wants you to... Breathe. Really? Lying to us? Alternatives. That's the way to go, pal. Trust me. No matter what ails you, I got what you need. What do I sell? I've got premium shit, my friend. Vitamins like you wouldn't believe. Okay. Calcium, vitamin okay. D, reverse vitamin D. I got everything, my friend. You got stress problems? I got stress solutions. 
aromatherapy it's actually eases really the funny. mind. Diluted mantisor essence. Best oh, kept secret some, in the business. I got some vitamin C. It's probably just ground up fast ration pills. Or it's the real thing, which is an incredibly dangerous hallucinogen <sighs> that tastes disgusting. And if you're a real freak, techniques to calm yourself by fooling your own mind. If they can tame the rage of a certain well-known toss ball star, they can help anybody. Who would that be? Wait, you ain't a sheriff, right? You gotta tell me if you're a sheriff. I'll be honest, I don't really know where that puts us. Me neither. Can't argue with that logic. Yeah, I know, Birdie. What do you want to know? <laughs> yeah, that was me. Birdie's got a temper, but he's not a bad kid, you techniques. know? He's trying to work on it. Oh. He may or may not buy alternatives from me from time to time. A little diluted mantis or essence here, a little vitamin oh, B negative B there. Negative. He's stressed out of his mind, the poor guy. Everyone knows his name. Can't turn around without having to sign an autograph. And then you throw in playing toss ball for a living. Violence like that, it does things to a body. It does things to the head. Come on. Birdie's a damn good hacker. But taking that many blows to the noggin would scramble anyone's upstairs business. I know it's knocked a few of his memories loose. I worry about him, that's all. He's a good kid. Got a good heart. Yeah. Damn shame about that. Birdie thought the world of Helen, you know. He showed up drunk at my place wanting to talk about the breakup. Helen dumped him, he said. Boy, was he in a bad way. I'd never seen him like that before. We talked for a while, and when he felt better, I sent him back to the hotel. Told him to drink more water and get some sleep. Right. Um. To this lady. Don't think I know you. What do you want? Yep, that sure is the passphrase, even if it is dumb as hell. What's Dash's plan? You're looking for cargo from our ship, the Rat King. Small package, wrapped in brown yeah, paper. Yeah, I already picked it up. It got moved to the shipping yard, but I'm not completely sure where. It is. Never heard of a freelancer getting a package before it's even asked for. You wouldn't also happen to have the key to my cell, no. would you? <laughs> but if the game <laughs> allowed me to pick convenient. the lock, I would. Anyway, so. next step is bringing that package to Joseph Dempsey. He runs the Aridanos Dry Goods and Sundry. This is gonna sound a little stupid, but I got a thing about mechanicals. Don't like the way they move or the sounds they make. Gives me the creeps. I was drinking with Dash in the cantina when a funny looking one trotted up beside us. Seemed like it was some kind of monster. So I started yelling, banging on it. Don't know what happened next, but I think it involved another mechanical. I passed right out then, and when I woke back up, I was here. Not the most graceful this thing I've ever done. This is gonna happen to me in, in our robot overlord future. Like, I'm gonna be jailed for... For, like, you know... Attacking some things that are... Like, it sins against God and man, you know. No complications? Grand. All right.
Welcome back. The Eridanos dry goods and sundry. I don't have anything to do with your missing machine guns you in the back. It. Wasn't me. A shipment, you say? The only shipment I'm expecting is a hundred pounds of salt tuna a week from now. And I certainly don't expect it to be brought by an inspector. Is that supposed to be some kind of code phrase? It has no nuance, no subtlety. Sticks out like a bent nail. A constable could detect that from the other side of Eridanos. I learn about secret codes in my off time. For fun. It's never anything that I actually need to use, mind. This guy's good. Playing dumb didn't dissuade you, huh? You're pretty sharp. And correct. Follow me to the back. Wasn't me. I, these these empty racks. All right. So, as you can see, this actually ain't the most standard and unremarkable <laughs> no, I can't general see, store. This because I've already Alcia. stolen your machine Welcome guns. Welcome to my black market. Whatever you're here for, weapons, information, contraband, cane and ornament. Oh, that's funny. I've got it. Sorry for the frosty reception. Had to make sure you weren't with the constable. That's <laughs> but seeing funny. how you're a freelancer, I hope I ain't got nothing to worry about. I suppose we will. Thanks for the delivery. I'm waiting on my next black market shipment, but if you come by later, you'll have free access to pick up all the contraband you want. Here's your pay. Good doing business with you, especially seeing how you didn't take this to the constable. Would have been a mighty pain in my tail end. See? No. But I might tell you what's in it, so long as it's nothing proprietary, volatile, or breathing. Let's have a little look. Contraband weapon parts, a few chemicals for the crafting of high explosives. All fairly standard. Oh, and a canister of trimethyl sulfoxide. Where dimethyl sulfoxide is good at keeping folks in stasis, trimethyl sulfoxide is nice for helping refrigerators run. Useful stuff. Hope the job's coming along well. No sign. Excellent. Let's divvy up the payment three ways and we can consider this matter settled. Thank the law. Should be just enough to get Cass out of her damn cell. I guess breaking even is better than leaving with your partner in the clink. You might not be Hawthorne, but you can sure resolve a problem like he could. Maybe better. Thanks again for all your help. Oh, right, I'm supposed to talk to the... Oh, I never went to his office, did I? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. This copy of TK contains 142 fewer pages than a standard copy. The missing pages were likely removed to create sufficient space for the hidden listening device inside. You figured that out just by looking at it? Huh. We ought to talk shop one of these days. That's oh, that's Inspector, because you were in my party provided. into the device in order to trace the transmission and that's, reveal the receiver's location. You're giving me that bonus, I'm pretty sure. 
Poor woolly cow impression transmitted. Transmission analysis complete. While the precise location of the receiver could not be pinpointed, it has been narrowed down to a smaller, approximate range. Analysis inconclusive. However, there is a minor accumulation of dust particles present on the book's uppermost surface. 98.3% of the dust particles are less than 500 micrometers in diameter. This unit is glad to have been of service, Inspector. The area within a 0.5 meter radius of the book possesses a dust coating comprised of at least twice the number of particles. That is highly likely, Inspector. What's that you found? No, wait, don't tell me. Let's save it for the big reveal once you've solved the case. Oh, it's in it's in the bathroom. Timeline discrepancy. Transmission endpoint discovered. The receiver in this book matches the transmitter to the listening device found in Cedric's office. It's somewhat grime covered. Due to the high level of foot traffic in this area, this unit is unable to determine who placed the device. Based on the accumulated mix of sludge and detritus, the receiver has been present since approximately a week before Helen's death. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Inspector, this loading auto mechanicals programming does not match factory default settings. The standard defensive protocol has been modified to include an additional trigger. For Type K-19 cargo transport auto mechanicals, defensive protocol is triggered by attempted interference with cargo or its transportation or attempted destruction of the unit. Once triggered, right. defensive protocol targets the perpetrator and applies lethal force until the target has been deceased for a minimum of three minutes. There is a directive in place to initiate defensive protocol should an unsanctioned data log installed in this auto mechanical be removed. Slug auto mechanical maintenance records indicate this particular unit is frequently reported as out of position or missing for periods of time. Loading auto mechanical unit K14 is fully operational at 99% power. Please designate the cargo to be transported and its destination. How can this auto mechanical assist you? Certainly. Access panel is now unlocked. Ejecting data log 17C alert. Failsafe protocol triggered. You Kill gave it to initiated. me. <laughs> Preparing to end user. He's, he's going to kill me because... He willingly gave me something that I asked for. Understood. This unit is programmed to facilitate user queries. Kill mode, pause. User termination, to follow. The ejected data log contains instructions to move cargo shipment 6, 8, 7, 5, Outside the boundaries of the shipping yard, it also contains instructions to move randomized cargo shipments outside uh. the boundaries of the shipping yard at intervals of one to four days. So it's, it's, we're doing random shit to mask. It's actually Apologies, this unit does not have access to cargo inventory lists. Kill mode. 
re-engaged. Have a nice day. Ow. Like how the quest forces me. Well, I suppose if I had enough engineering, then it wouldn't have happened. But it forces you to lose reputation with the people that you're uh, trying to help. Inspector, to what do I owe the pleasure? Ooh, I love this part. The big reveal. So tell me, what happened? Hmm, what makes you say that? Damn, you're good. Hacking the Automex. So that was our skimmer's game. It's a good game. thing I brought Parati. Why? Everything that was stolen has seemed... Random. I certainly see no pattern. A cover-up. I see. The random theft was a smokescreen to hide what the culprit really wanted. I must say, Inspector, you've done excellent work on this case. But then that just leaves how the culprit knew where their true target would be. Or indeed, that slug would soon possess it. Okay, that's very impressive. <laughs> Don't ever touch me again. Am I right to think what you found in my office earlier was the other half of this listening device? Not quite, Inspector. That listening device belongs to me. I lent it to Halcyon Helen to assist her with role research. Unbelievable. I helped her. Gave her whatever she needed. I thought we were doing each other a good turn. As though Helen herself didn't profit from her work. Please. This is a betrayal, Inspector. I do not take betrayal lightly. Helen should consider herself very lucky indeed that she is already among the dead. And that some other bastard beat me to putting her in the ground. Yes, I suppose we have. There is, however, a slight chronological incongruency to it. I now have a motive to kill Halcyon Helen, but Halcyon Helen is already dead. If I'd known Helen was stealing from me, I may very well have killed her, or had her killed. Alas... I did not. Oh, that is good, Inspector. Now you are thinking in the manner you must, if you intend to get to the bottom of this mess. I wish you luck with your investigation, though I doubt you'll need it. You'll find Helen's murderer. I'm confident of that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must find a way to excise my anger that minimally damages my business empire. I expect it will involve shooting quite a lot of guns.
Yeah, this is telling me to go. Both of these are telling me to go to the wildlife, the, to the wilderness exploitation reserve. So there's that. Um. We're done here. I am gonna wrap up pretty soon. Uh, we'll go back to the hotel first, at least. Inspector, not a moment too soon. I've just finished my autopsy report. Ruth Bellamy was killed by plasma damage to the upper vertebrae, the occipital bone, and the cerebellum. If it's any consolation, her death was instantaneous and painless. I've also discovered a poisonous compound in Miss Bellamy's stomach lining ingested during her last meal. Toxic, but not enough to kill her. Spencer Woolrich complained of a stomach ailment around the same time period. I assumed he was being... You know, Spencer. But now I'm not so sure. The thought occurred to me. I tested this hypothesis by vacating the contents of my stomach and testing for the presence of the same toxin. Slightly elevated levels of mercury and an alarming amount of blue food coloring. But other than that, no. I'm certain it wasn't, as you put it, just the hotel food. Oh, how curious. I do believe you're right. I wonder if this has something to do with the autopsy process. She was halcy on Helen up until the moment I brought her to the operating table. But as soon as I cut her open, I stopped thinking of her as halcy on Helen. It's almost as if she stopped being an icon and became a human being. I had a feeling you'd understand. What? Sorry, this mask. Sometimes I can't hear correctly. It almost sounded like you said Maria Keene was dead. Maria's been killed. I don't understand. How? Who did this? Rather harmless on its own. Common ingredient in medicine, but it can have a lethal application. Potassium chloride, when delivered in a cocktail of neurotoxin and paralytic, leads to cardiac arrest. Oh, merciful law. I'm so sorry, Maria. Maria and I were frequently at loggerheads. We disagreed on practically everything. It didn't help that I'm on Mr. Kincannon's payroll and Maria is a Rizzo's loyalist. Was a Rizzo's loyalist. Apologies, Inspector. I don't have the heart to continue talking at the moment. Thank you for your time. My apologies. I'm not in the mood to socialize. Does she have in our terminal? Oh, the autopsy report. Could this be the apex of my profession? Bellamy's corpse shows evidence of several possible causes of death, but I've determined the killing blow was plasma damage to her upper vertebrae, occipital bone, and cerebellum. Death was instantaneous and painless. That doesn't make sense because she drew the bee on the ground with the spectrum brown. If her death was instantaneous, she wouldn't be, like, trying to spell out the name of her killer on the floor. Anyway, frankly, her death may have come as a relief. She was unwell prior to the attack. I, so maybe she was poisoned? So maybe that explains it. High concentration of poisonous compounds in her stomach lining ingested during her last meal. Not lethal, but uncomfortable in the extreme. Spencer Woolrich complained of similar stomach ailments. Is this a problem common to professional actors? 
Who can say? Inspector, I've just received word that Constable Keen is dead. Please tell me it isn't true. Halcyon Helen, Leora Blossom, Maria Keen. There's a murderer on the loose, Inspector. You must stop them. I don't have Maria to count on anymore, so I'm counting on you. The Needler was among Helen's belongings. Whoever stole it must have been able to slip in and out of the hotel. Maria was my sole representative in Cedric's territory. The entire hotel staff is on his payroll. Any one of them could have killed her on his behalf. Maria devoted her entire life to our vision. She was absolutely committed to our company, to our project. I promised myself I'd reward her after we launched Spectrum Brown. I'd make sure she was comfortable for the rest of her life. She was also our voice of reason. She was sensible, and I appreciated her advice. I never got to tell her that. Make them suffer, Inspector. I'm pleased to hear that. Bertie Holcomb is a valuable asset to the Rizzo's Rangers property. When Helen was murdered, Bertie was nowhere to be found. The timing of his disappearance is unfortunate. Try not to feel too bad for him. Bertie is a brilliant athlete. The universe has balanced his talent by making him a slack wit. Yes, yes, I know about the woolly cow. Constable Keen had Bertie's teammates arrested for unauthorized inebriation of livestock. <laughs> unauthorized Bertie himself was nowhere to be found livestock. during the incident. Ironically, if Keen had arrested him, he'd have the perfect alibi. Be plain with me, Inspector. Do you believe Blackhold Bertie killed Helen? Ah, I'm relieved to hear that. I happen to be something of a fan of the hack attack. I'd hate to see him processed for murder, but we need to be absolutely sure. I think someone tried like to make to it look like your investigation. He her. Notify me as soon as you're ready to make a formal accusation. I appreciate that. I'd rather keep Bertie within the public eye than let him languish in a bar at the docks. I'll make my report of your investigation into Bertie. Do you have anything else for me? Closely, I trust. Tell me what you found. That doesn't surprise me. Cedric practically stole his way to Eridanos. He'll do everything in his power to keep you off his trail. With that in mind, do you think Cedric was responsible for Helen's death? No motive. That's disappointing, because it's exactly the conclusion he'd want us to make. Unfortunately, even I don't have the authority to detain Cedric. His line of work is dangerous, though. There's always a chance for an accident. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I've already lost Dr. Blossom and Constable Keen, but at least Cedric's alive. The universe is a just place. Oh, well, I, I don't know who that's the other one. I, in fact, do not. It's interesting that I can end the investigation already. The exploitation reserve.
The Grand Colonial Front Desk warmly welcomes you, Inspector. It's a pleasure to see you again. How may I be of assistance to you, Inspector? I'd love to, Inspector, but I don't really have the authority. Moreover, the guests were promised exclusivity. If I let you up there, I'll never hear the end of it. Oh, how careless of me. Actually, that's not the only way I was careless. I just remembered you have VIP access rights. As a... a special guest of Slug. Let me just set you up with VIP guest floor access. Done. You can now come and go as you please. You've returned! Hope we found this guy's fan fiction like earlier. It. Now, what? Oh, should I? Should I? What? Oh, Gloss, you didn't find my story, did you? Sakes alive, that's embarrassing as all hell. I guess I should have hit it better. Well, since there's no way to put the leather boa back in the skinning machine, I might as well what? ask. What did you think? Poor grammar. Ouch. I think you may have scorched my eyebrows. Well, no matter. It was just for fun anyway. Not like I was attached to it. Definitely not. Like if you see Black Hole Birdie, be sure to get an autograph for me. Oh, just joking. I've already got one. Damn, they got full time security on this floor. Zeke Hannigan, Rizzo's Ranger 16th back. Pleased to meet you. What can I do for you? About half my life. You know, I was named third most profitable investment on two non consecutive seasons. Ain't a lot of players who can make that claim. Except for the guys who came in first and second, I guess. I spent the last season injured and almost got sold to the Hephaestus Hammers. But now I'm all convalesced. Ready to lay into some Cleo darlings, you know? Really break some legs. Since it's the off-season, we're helping support the launch of Rizzo Spectrum Brown. Meet the fans, sign toss ball cards, that sort of thing. Just between you and me, Rizzo's ought to cancel the whole event out of respect for Miss Helen. Oh, you must be that inspector people have been talking about. It's a damn shame about Miss Helen. She was always real good to me and the rest of the Rangers. Bertie's taking it pretty hard. Miss Helen was the love of his life. So, what did you want to know? I'm ashamed to admit it, but... Me and a couple of the other Rangers spend the night in Constable Keen's cells down at the spaceport. We didn't do anything serious, just a bit of pranks and vandalism. It's what usually happens when we all get to drinking. Guess Constable Keen saw things a bit differently and had us hauled off. No, we lost him somewhere along the way. Or maybe he managed to get away? I can't rightly remember. But he was definitely not sharing a cell with us. That much I know. Oh, Brady was mad about Helen. He was certifiable. The big galoot loved Helen about as much as he loved the game. Trouble is, Bertie was not blessed with an abundance of temper. Helen kept Bertie steady. If he lost his temper around her, it'd be because something broke between the two of them. Yeah, they did break up, so I'm being led in that direction, but I'm really not convinced. What? Law, no. Bertie's got a fierce temper, but there's no way he'd ever have laid a finger on Miss Helen. Miss Helen was outspoken. She made her share of enemies on account of her expressing herself. Just between you and me, I heard rumors the Prophet never much cared for Helen's brand of blunt honesty. What can I do for you? Is that uh. a woolly cow? Why is there a woolly cow in the hotel? 
Also, why do I smell alcohol? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Nice. Multiple discrepancies detected. First discrepancy. A woolly cow is present in this hotel room. Woolly cows are an import species for the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve and are incapable of affording upper-class accommodations. Second discrepancy. This woolly cow is dangerously inebriated with Rizzo Spectrum Vodka. Alcohol sanguinization ratio exceeds recommended maximum. Zero. This unit has not been programmed to include bovine jurisprudence in its library of information. A brief survey of this area reveals that the most recent occupants were athletes belonging to the Rizzo's Rangers Tossball Club. Insufficient data. A brief survey of localized property damage divided by the area of this room yields the following estimate. This unit was likely occupied by every member of the Rizzo's Rangers. Minus one. So I think I was able to unlock this before I went to the spaceport. So I could have. Because it seems a little out of order that I'm still investigating Birdie. But. Hotel rooms don't feel like home until you mess them up some. This one's real cozy. What do you want to know? What about her? Look, you and me, we both know I'm a big, dumb tossball star, right? That's what I'm good at. Rizzo's knows it. The fans know it. Helen, she saw me as more than that. She saw someone who had more to offer than big muscles and a signature black hole stomp. Being with Helen was magic. She was magic. There ain't good enough words for something as special as what we had together. You know, I think when he's not wearing the disguise, his IQ rises by like 20 points. I wish I knew. Must have been something I did. At the picnic, Helen just kept saying she didn't want to drag me into her world. Maybe one of the higher ups in motion pictures was giving her trouble over us? I don't know. I tried to understand, but I don't. Rival actresses, maybe? I don't know too much about the motion picture industry. Except for Helen's pictures, obviously. <laughs> Those I probably know by heart. Seen them about a hundred times each. What do you want to know? Yeah? Oryx, a uh, businessman. He sells stuff you can't get elsewhere. You know, uh, yeah, he told alternative me. stuff. We're talking sort of science, crockery, whole supplements. Probably. I can never remember. I just know I trust Oric more than I do any sawbones. Maybe putting effort accelerators in your body isn't always the right call, you know? Maybe there are other options. Maybe I don't take all the accelerators Rizzo's pushes on me. People get worked up about this kind of thing is all. Not that my personal Fringe business would be opinion. any concern of yeah. theirs. Yeah? Oric hangs around the spaceport most days. So... I remember sending her the recording, but... Law, I was halfway to preserved by then. I don't know what was on it. When I realized what I'd done, I panicked. If I'd said something dumb, folks might think I was involved in her death. I was scared of looking suspicious. I wish that were the dumbest thing I ever did, but it's not. Tossball was, is, and always will be the greatest game in the universe. And I would give it up in a heartbeat to have Helen back. Thank you. 
Just browsing. I should probably put this away. They put purpleberry bunches on the pillows. It's nice. This is not stealing. You got nimble fingers, Captain. All plaid collection. Clean it out. Okay. Um. What happened here? Oh, this is Burbage three thousand. M1. Excuse Initiating me. enter protocol. Now simulating familiar and welcoming demeanor. Greetings, theater aficionado and or dumbstruck fan. You are standing in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burbage 3001's programming enter protocol exhausted. Reverting to default behavior, grieving and despair. Burbage 3001 was designed to disrupt Halcyon Helen's monopoly over the okay. Burbage 3001. Anything Halcyon. Nice. This unit has been programmed to simulate existential dread. Watch Burbage. This unit has not yet completed it. All right. He just has like 20 of those hats. That's nice. That's nice. He's got it. <laughs> okay, that is like a motivational poster, but in binary. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Yeah. Discrepancy detected. This bottle, recently discarded, contains residue from foreign substances. Chemical analysis complete. This unit has detected the following substances. Oil, terror ray, blood, terror ray, unidentifiable biological fluids, terror ray. Yes, Inspector. Logical analysis indicates these substances were not present in the bottle's original contents. These substances cause extreme gastrointestinal distress uh. in humans. Large doses can be fatal. There's this poison. bottle contained Rizospectrum Vodka. It's in a medic the poison presence of like terror ray biological fluids may have significantly improved its flavor. Fingernail and gold laying appointment. Don't forget.
About time you arrived. Oh my you haven't dressed God. the way I asked you to, but I suppose that was expecting too much of a non-industry lout. Expect a complaint to management. Now, unless you'd like to waste more of my time, I suggest we begin rehearsing. Ready? <coughs> You've fallen right into my trap, Captain. Oh, don't bother to fight back. You cannot hope to stop me from installing philosophism as the system's reigning ideology. How does the scenery taste? Good, I trust. Uh, wait a moment. You're not wearing a bellhop's ID, which must mean you're not Owen's understudy. That man can't even be relied upon to find his own replacement. No, no, this is curious indeed. Who are you, and how did you get in here? You're here to investigate me. Oh, I assure you, I'm nothing special. Just an old crook with more money than time. That was a quote from the retiree's revenge, in which I played an ex-thief turned decrepit old man. But uh, of course, I'm certain you already recognized it. Now, what shall I sign first? Your weapon? Your wallet? Or perhaps something uh, a little more personal? Undergarment signatures have been popular of late, or so I've heard. I'd be delighted. Oh, damn. My pen's out of ink. I'll just get you a portrait of my face as a souvenir. I'm sure I have the prints around here somewhere. By the by, how did you get in here? The only non-staff individual cleared to enter guest rooms is supposed to be the inspector for Bellamy's murder. Oh. Oh! <clears throat> Hello. <clears throat> uh, hi. Uh, terribly sorry, Inspector. I didn't realize it was you. I understand that I am beyond willing to comply with your search for the fiend that did Bellamy in. You know, now that I look at you, <laughs> you're the perfect reflection of me. Back when I starred in the Marauder's <clears throat> Bane, the absolute picture of justice. Ask me anything at this all. This guy's testing my patience. I might even give you a straight answer. Making me very much want to hit the skip button. <laughs> um. Oh, have you now? Please do go on. Uh, uh, don't leave me in suspense. I did indeed. With Halcyon Helen parading her fame about, I was left without an acting partner. Burbage is no exception. His acting protocols <laughs> were nothing short of a joke. So I decided to make some modifications, installing him with some of my old serial quotes as, I think, improved his range. The way he bungled about with that weapon of his hardly befitted a dissident, so I modified it as well. He's much quicker on the draw now, though he's still a machine. I'm quite used to being breathlessly watched. Certainly, but how was it that Bell... Why, I'm merely worried for my own sake. Perhaps whoever came after her could come after me. Next. Don't flatter yourself, bro. But if you don't want to tell me, I understand. Oh, come now, Inspector. What do you take me for? I'm an old man. I neither have the time nor the willpower to kill people for fun. Besides, I have my reputation to think of. 
Bellamy has been my co-star throughout the autumn of my career. I should like to think I knew her. In fact, I cannot name a single role in the last ten years that did not involve her in some way. Unless you count the uncredited silent shopkeep on Melissa's meteoroids. Oh, it wasn't. And don't think I haven't picked up on your tone. Resenting Bellamy is one thing, but killing her is another completely. It's also beneath me. You know, I kind of believe him when he says that. Oh, but you never know. Because, like, I am firmly of the opinion. Bellamy has been my coast. Oh. In f um. Uh, in short, the two of us resenting Bellamy is one. I am firmly of the opinion that. That this was a political murder. Because there's power struggle between these different factions here. I was meditating, of course. That's how I get into character. And, and I think she got into somebody's dirty laundry and... And... And they wanted to... Cover it up. I don't think it's because this guy's envious. I don't think that's why she was killed. Um. Respectfully, Inspector, it is rather counterproductive to commune with others while meditating. All actors have their methods, and this has been mine ever since she taught well, me it for my role to her. in The Unemployed okay. Cometh. I had to lie face down on artificially heat. Needless to say, being able to leave my body helped to mitigate the pain, both during... Yeah, actually, only since I've been at the Colonial, the unemployed Cometh was shot on sight. That makes it um, a few weeks. I cannot recommend her services enough. If you haven't been to see her yet, you really should. I'll answer whatever you wish. I suppose that is enough on that grim subject. Indeed. The agonizing bowel pain was most undignifying. While I've certainly had no shortage of inadequate hotel meals, this was most explicitly pronounced. I suspect poison. And who would be most likely to poison me but Chef? Anwar. Oh, we've clashed almost non-stop about his slop preparation. He must have tainted my meal in retaliation. Well, this is important because, um, because Ruth, not Helen, Ruth was poisoned in the same way. How alarming! Whoever targeted her was certainly targeting me. I can only thank my ironclad constitution that I'm standing here before you. Oh, oh, that's very good to know. Perhaps the poisoner simply meant to incapacitate us both, uh, disrupt the product launch. I couldn't say, Inspector, I'm merely an actor. None that I can think of. I treat all hotel... Nice. Is that a jibe? Could you imagine the tabloid head? Very well, then. Go, oh, but I suppose... Very well. I'm sure you're joking. Perhaps I'm not in my prime, but you've no doubt seen the name Spencer Woolrich on many a serial advertisement throughout your travels. Uh, that can't be. 
You must just not remember. Or perhaps you only recognize my characters, not my name. Yeah, Did you it. ever see me in the masked marketeer? Uh, the busker of Byzantium? Uh, what about episodes 13 and 190 what does of busker Princess mean? of Hephaestus? I've been running into that. And who could forget from Halcyon with love? That's in The Witcher 2. I was great in that movie. Even if I was starring oh, beside a two-ton bucket means... of bolts and a woman with no talent. Busker. Person who performs music or other entertainment in the street or in other public place for monetary donations. So it doesn't just mean musician, it specifically means the people who like are out on the street with their guitar case, you know, open for donations. That's what it means. Um, from Halcyon with Love. Yes, that would be Burbage 3001. I'm sure you've heard the clomping around. It's over in the next room. It's hard for me to believe that a mechanic... All right. <laughs> Got out this whole time. Um, what? what more would you We're done here. Oh, never mind. We got to talk to the chef. Then we'll be done here. Yes? Are you here for the double rack of smoked sprat? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you'll have to wait. Oh, don't give me that look. Let me see if I can pencil you in for later. Actually, what am I saying? I can't do that. I'm booked for the next month. You'll have to make a reservation. You're, you're the inspector? Here? Why? I, I mean, you may ask me whatever you want. I have nothing to hide. Sure. Of course I did. I would never allow anyone else to touch the meals of so important a guest. Oh. Oh my law, this is the end, isn't it? My mother always warned me that the culinary world was too dangerous, but I didn't heed her warnings. Okay, okay, I wasn't the one who did it, but I might have been mistaken uh -huh. when I said I was constantly watching Helen's food. Right. Spencer Woolrich and Bellhop Owens were underfoot in the kitchen. As but. I was preparing Helen's meal, either one of them could have tampered with the food when I was fetching ingredients. But the security footage would help. Well, it's a breach of professionalism, of course. Why else would I worry about it? What? Truly? That's... An alarming business oversight. Instead of volatile chemicals, the corporations should put barbiturates in everything. Everyone likes barbiturates. But Do I don't they? believe that was a risk with Helen's meal. I was uh, up to something else. I may have taken some time to engage in a teensy bit of recreational drinking, and consequently, a lot I may have been somewhat less than coherent after preparing Helen's meal. Barbiturates are a class of depressant drugs that are chemically derived from barbituric acid. They're effective when used medically as an 
anxiolytics, hypnotics, and anticonvulsants, but have physical and psychological addiction potential as well. These to help sleep, relieve anxiety, muscle spasms, and prevent seizures. Right. Yes, but not specifically. Owens often procures exotic ingredients from the creatures so, yeah, at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. Our guests can be rather... particular. Let's not talk about the incident with the Raptodon pheromone glands. It's always hard to say when Owens might be back. If I were you, I'd make a trek to the reserve myself. Otherwise, who knows how long you'll have to wait. All my quests are leading. I understand your reluctance, but... Oh! Oh! I just remembered! The kitchen security camera. It'll prove I'm telling the truth about everything. Constable Keen has access to the security footage in her office at the spaceport. If you it visit make her, sense why... you can figure out what truly happened with Helen's meal. Um, fucking Spencer. Is it Spencer? Yeah, it doesn't make sense because he was also poisoned. Mr. Woolrich often finds the hotel's meals oh, right. wanting. That's that's He why. seems to enjoy complaining in person. That's While why. I could appreciate someone with a discerning palate for once, I believe that Mr. Woolridge simply enjoys the attention he gets from us. Though, don't tell him I said as much. If you wish to speak with him, Mr. Woolridge can most likely be found in his suite on the VIP guest floor. He's usually there if he's not poking around here. Thank you for your understanding, Inspector. I'm sure you'll find the true culprit before long. Okay, the 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 terminal. Where's... Oh, it, from the constable? That doesn't make any sense. Why is the security footage on a different island? Welcome back. Oh, please speak. All requests for security footage required. Error. Bit processing unit has been removed. Temporarily surpassing bit fee request. Funds will be request delivering footage. Thank you for your. If you would like a wine recommendation. To pair with that footage, please submit the rec- uh, How do I look at it? How do I... this footage does not help me if I can't watch it. Oh well. Okay, so we've got... Go to Bellhop Owens, who's in the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. This is the key card that I don't have 
but I think maybe I'm supposed to. Um, anyway. So we have This is the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. And then this is the distillery. And that's... That's it. That's all we've got left to, to explore. So, I am going to... Um, gonna leave it there uh, I guess, I guess. oh why not why not I'll use it so kill these things first why would anybody bring raptodons up here don't this hotel have a policy on animals? I hope I didn't get blood on my clothes. Did we win? How exciting. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty big area. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to start another conversation. So, um, that's it for tonight. I... I uh, uh, don't know what, whoops, sorry, I uh, don't know what to say, um, I guess, ha ha have, have a good day, or night, or whatever time it is just have a good one and i'll see you later